a ticket for racism? I've said before, I don't play the word card. All right. This, oh, not, all right. We got sound I'm not now. Uh, I'm not chat, I'm we got sound. Chat, we got sound. We're going to say Jehovah. I wanted to say my racisms. No, no we're going to say Jehovah. All right, we have sound now. Say we Jehovah. have sound. Yeah, boy. You can't say Jehovah. That's just what Jehovah's <gasps> Witness said. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Now we get to throw stones at you. All right. So, we are ready to begin. Hello, everybody, yes. and welcome to the Doom Debate. We are finally going to have this. I was hyping it up for like three days, and now it's finally happening. With me is uh, the man of the hour, the main now? guest, Shwilan. Say hello, Shwilan. Hello. So, uh, tell us some... Um, doggo. What? My apologies for the doggo. There's a there's a what? I Dog. thought you guys heard the doggo barking. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I didn't hear anything. Good to know. Well, anyway, so also with me are Video Plushy. He will be mediating for us. And then Kami, Chan, and Hello. Oscar wanted to listen in. Hear about it. We wanted to listen in in person, like the official snowflakes we are. Yeah, boy. So they will be melting. The to, they will be melting. Up. They will be melting by tomorrow. Give them their la give them the pleasure of their last days of life. Oh Jesus! Move them into a <laughs> hospice, and by a hospice, I mean my basement. <laughs> your basement is a hospice. That's gonna be the yeah, worst it place is mostly because I can't keep the little girls yeah, in there alive for more than three oh. days. It's a really oh, big <laughs> oh my god! Oh, when did this become Resident Evil? When did it stop? <laughs> Precisely six minutes and ago. Uh, I'm interested in how you got it that precise. Is there something you'd like to tell us, Sir Octor? I'll be trying to mute myself when I have my coughing fits, but some might get through. You are never Just, uh, you are not forgiven. Don't die on us, otherwise I will have to laugh at. Oh no! no if you if I, if I die on you, just resurrect me as a skeleton. Skeleton. In fairness. In fairness, no, someone no, dies on screen and packing fit. Instead of coughing. Mm -hmm. That would be we just have to to a commercial when he does. <laughs> oh. Alright, so, uh, actually, I don't want to interrupt anything. I just want to get on topic, because, like, well, I don't want to keep Shwilan for longer than it needs to be. I have no life. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's okay, man. I have no life either. I just work. I'm not fucking going anywhere except to cry myself to sleep when I'm done yeah, here. If you ever start up a proper podcast, you need to call it the No Lifers. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, we're going to start the discussion uh, about Doom 2016. So, the main um, point of contention between me and Chuilan is, from what I understand from watching the part of his video that we did, uh, Plushy, if you remember... Uh, he does yep. not really think the game is as good as people say it is. While me, my position is that, uh, well, it's, I mean, I'm, I'm really biased. It's like my favorite FPS probably of all time. I played it so many times. I fucking love it. And the pain I want to do is I want to have, uh, you know, discuss the various points and see, you know, we can find some common ground, have a discussion about what are the faults and the benefits of the game. Maybe uh, the best thing to do, I guess we can do first, is uh, for you, Shui, and then we can get the positives out of the way. Are there any things you can say that are like, yeah, I like these, these are good? Oh yeah, there's actually quite a lot positive I, I can say about the game. Uh, graphically, uh, astonishing. Mm -hmm. Looks really, really fucking good. Mm -hmm. uh, That's uh, in Tech 6 for you. That's in Tech 6 for Tech 6, a fantastic engine. Uh, graphic resolution, texture resolution, lighting engine especially. Oh yeah, definitely. Jaw-dropping in a lot of places. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, what else? Exploration. I really, really liked exploration. Uh -huh. I felt it was a really, really good yeah. adaptation of old classic Dooms. Exploration yeah. brought to so many new levels of hideaways uh, using the Y axis instead of just having everything be hidden on the ground level. Uh, the levels were quite very, very expansive and very complexly mm -hmm. designed with a lot of secrets and collectibles that would reward exploration. Ah, uh, what else? What else? The game so, controls brilliantly. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of like the the control scheme is very uh, the word for it I'd say is tight. Like you can mm, you can you can react to things very quickly. 
like almost like lightning quick like most yeah, i mean i know only... twitch shooters are like you know a common thing to say i can't like, concur despite the fact that i am supremely shit at the game <laughs> <laughs> the only thing oh, i yeah. felt was missing from doom 2016's uh control scheme was a quick dodge but doom eternal's got that oh yeah we got the dash oh i can't wait to use that shit oh yeah, man i kind of wish i had that because it would be really useful against the skull things that charge at you i always forget pinkies that. No, no, not just Thanks. pinkies. Well, yeah, pinkies, but um, oh, I thought you were talking about lost souls for a second. <laughs> no, you can't really. They, they, they like seek to you. You can't like jump out of the way for those. You have to shoot them. Oh, those things are fucking. Oh my god. Uh, I do so like, I do like the way they're implemented. Like they have horrifying, oh. hellish screams as they come at you, which I like. Right. So, so they're like the opposite of females. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Whoa! Oh God! Okay, Susan, we just keep Susan, we just keep. Look away! Don't don't demonetize me! <laughs> Get down! I came here for a conversation, not a copyright strike. <laughs> copyright? No, this will be a community guideline strike. No. What's the difference? What else was there? Oh, Theo's right. in the chat. <laughs> All of the weapons are unique. None of them feel like reskins of another weapon. Mhm. Mm definitely. Some of them are damn, pretty damn cool. It's like uh, my my favorite weapon to oh, use, uh, if you're talking visually or to use, I'd say my favorite to use is the Gauss cannon. My favorite visually is probably the, well, this is gonna sound weird, but the assault rifle. I love the way it's designed and the fact that the missile pod mm -hmm. integrates into it and the fact that it has all the rails in like places that they would be on a real weapon. Like it's really nice. It now occurs to me that BFG, the BFG's animation is really similar to the uh, dark matter gun from Quake Four. Uh, I've got, oh, that didn't occur I've, to got me. A, I've got a controversial favorite weapon. Uh, the pistol. In terms of aesthetics, I really like charging up a shot and popping an enemy from afar. It's actually seven after coming in here like, oh, I've got a favorite weapon. It's this rock I found on the floor. <laughs> it's my sling. My favorite weapon is the knife. <laughs> Uh, there's no knife. Well, the there's gonna be a knife in the next nice game, but there's no knife piece. here. That's the joke. Oh, do you know there was a bit in the footage I recorded for Doom 2016 for the video where the Berserk uh, power-up just broke mm -hmm. on me, like, twice. Uh -huh. So instead of going into the instant glory kill animation whenever you punch someone, it just let me twat them repeatedly. Twat them? You mean jib them? Like no, they would just didn't explode into paste? It. They wouldn't explode into anything. It was just Doom Guy continuously right hooking this one oh, fucking Doom <laughs> yeah. second strike. I can't say I haven't seen that happen like once. There is um like instances. I guess it's more to make the animations more fluid. Like where some of the animations for like Berserk especially, it'll like have an actual dedicated like way that you kill it. Like the Hell Knight, you'll rip its upper lower jaw off and throw it away like those that's an example you know, but one, in a I lot of instances when you punch them it'll be like a right hook like you say and they'll just explode into chunks <laughs> i think one thing i would have loved to see with berserk kills is doom guy beating someone to death with your currently equipped weapon mm -hmm. like not having him use it to shoot people oh you mean like just like taking the, the butt of the gun and just hitting it into his head no no like holding the shotgun like a baseball bat by the barrel and just Beating people to death with. Yeah, I could yep. see that. I did pretty damn cool. Oh yeah, they've got the arm blade. There's the BFG thing animation. I like that. I only ever used the BFG in boss fights because I was like, this thing's too. Well, that's the thing. It's made fucking... for like I always. That's the thing I did in my first playthrough as well. Like when I first played. I like was like, oh man, this ammo is so fucking precious. I gotta keep it for important shit. And like, yeah, like I use it's very useful in the boss fights actually, especially against thou the spider mastermind who just wasted it on the first enemy I came across. Thou shalt always hold thy um, hold thy thou shalt always hold thy resources for later. And now thine shalt go and get some old English lessons. <laughs> Now, now you know, one of my favorite things, English. the Spider Master Mind's finishing animation when you kill oh, it is putting yeah. the BFG in its mouth. It, no, oh, yeah, that me. was like, I mean, I'm that was out awesome. of ammo. Oh. <laughs> oh. Doom Guy puts it in his mouth, fires, and it doesn't do anything. And the only word Doom Guy says of the whole game is just, fuck. <laughs> 
Well, I mean, it was pretty disabled by then. Even if you if you wanted to, you could have just like probably yeah. used a different weapon. You're gonna get Susan Wojcicki. I could have been the bigger man and walked away. You're gonna get Susan Wojcicki for saying that word. It's forbidden. What word? Oh, I said I said it. I said what, what's word. the word? Disabled. Oh, that, what? what? I, I didn't say retarded. <laughs> just did that. Police, get you this just man. Did now. Hello, police. That's I the joke. <laughs> Arrest the joke. him. He did it politically incorrect. Thought crimes. Thought crimes. 1984. 1984. <laughs> How dare you have an opinion in this beautiful God's Queen country? Mm -hmm. Right. Anyway. Moving okay, no on. Topic. Okay. okay. So let's keep going. Yep. Is there anything else? I want to. I want actually. Else? These are the things I want to do. Is I want to actually break it down by categories, and we can discuss like things we like, things we don't. Because I actually, do have some so things. So far, I don't we like. have. So far, we have that the graphics are really impressive. The resolution directs. Yeah. With the um, not only is, is it very impressive, it, it's also incredibly optimized. The Vulcan. Oh yeah. Uh, inter oh, the Vulcan interpreter shit. is so unbelievably good. I uh, wish more games used it. I know a lot of games use DirectX 12, but like, yeah, yeah, that's pretty good too. <laughs> I think it's one of probably one of the best optimized games. Like, I've I ever can literally get, PC, I can get, like... I have a 144 monitor. I can get 144 pretty much everywhere <laughs> because it's that good. I think the only game I've played in recent memory that runs just optimization wise as well as that was Metal Gear Solid. Or, uh, well, I mean, I know people don't like it that much, but Overwatch was pretty well optimized, I'd say. I've never played Overwatch on the PC. Well, yeah, from what I know, it's like, I mean, maybe it lends itself to the fact the art style is so simplistic, which is not a bad thing, but, you know, that might be why. Another one I could think of would be, well, actually, like, Doom is, like, my prime example for good optimization. Uh, oh, actually, there is a game I played recently, uh, Plague Tale Innocence. It is actually really well optimized, surprisingly. Even yeah, though it's uh, even though it's one of those it. even though it's one of those cinematic type games where like I mean it, you know it's a I mean, it's uh, essentially I mean no it has some decent elements to it but anyway the the game I could yeah. actually run it at like 144 almost always because it was that well optimized surprisingly. If, even with everything turned if up if Plague Tale if Plague Tale oh, had a better okay. story and especially a better ending dear God that ending no, was guys, it really that bad I mean you, you failed to realize not... well, well we probably yes, getting off topic kind of but um I don't think it's that bad. To realize it's not that... that bad, but it's really disappointing compared to how well paced it is. Because the story is fantastically paced. It just kind of runs out of things to do at the end. Guys, you see, you fail to realize that obviously Fallout 76 is the most optimized <gasps> game. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, my yeah. god! Oh, oh, come on, come on. The optimization was just way. Kami-chan, I think we can uh, all agree that Ride to Hell Retribution is the single greatest thing to ever exist. Yes, yes, uh, best game uh, ever. No. Right up there with Mind Jack and most... Aliens Colonial Marines. Fuck you, right. guys. The, best, the most well-optimized game of all time has got to be E.T. for the Atari. <laughs> Are we going to rein this in before we before yeah, I we really my computer right. and well, then I'm sorry, myself I went off on a... out of the Sorry, I went off on a tangent. Uh, uh, we no can discuss worries. the game another We're time. We're all idiots here. We but I actually, we I do have some thoughts. Try. We can discuss it later. Yes. Anyway, so let's keep going. So, so far we got uh, visually, and then the levels, the collectibles, the weapons. What else can we talk about? Um. Hmm. This is just on your part. I don't want to get into mine. Yeah. What, what about the thing? What What about the enemy design? Well, actually, I want to save that for like an actual like a longer section. I don't know, I can't really... We can all mm. agree. The I don't know, there wasn't really a single enemy brutal. in the game that I was like, wow, holy shit, this, this is something I'm gonna remember. A lot of them just kind of felt like, you know, just run-of-the-mill demons in a lot of places. Fair enough, I suppose. I mean, I want to get into that later, but you know. Okay, other well, things? Uh... We have strong collectibles. What was the last one? I have strong collectibles, well optimized, really beautiful graphics. I'm just keeping notes. The gunplay and the weapons designs are pretty oh, good. Thank you. Oh, you're keeping notes, are you? <laughs> That's yes, cool. Yes, I am. Oh, thanks, yeah, Bushy. I, I don't think I can think of anything else. Uh, There'll probably uh, something that'll come to me as the discussion goes on. Okay. Well, I want to start with the point that you brought up in your video. I know you don't want people to talk about oh, it no. because, like, it's not good. At least in your in your view, you said you didn't like how it was received. 
or was it that you didn't like how it was after you thought about it? I don't want to put the words in your mouth. It wasn't so much with how it was received, because I'll take any flack. Yeah, because like I, I saw so your Resident can... Evil 2 video as well, and that had just as bad of a like dislike ratio, so that can't be the reason. We were midway through well, actually, the, 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 the like to like on the uh, Resi 2 video was way more positive than the Doom one. Oh. But with Doom, I will take any flack possible so long as the arguments that i've presented are things that i'm confident with and aren't something that can just be smashed or swept under the rug as quick as possible but when i was there for the live stream where they broke it down and just i was there to watch them go no these arguments are fucking terrible i was like right i can't argue with that yeah this video is a mm. piece of shit and i could no longer stand with what i said for the most part in this video so I'm going to take it down because even I don't agree with it anymore. Ugh. Okay, I understand. I was confused about why you took it down. Uh, I know you explained that, like, the, the very little message that you sent me when I asked you out at first was just like, it was a shit video, and I was like, that's a bit vague. And I'm, okay, I understand now. Um, I will say something really funny. Plushy can stand, Plushy and Kami can attest to this. We were watching the video, and I was, I was going to... I was going to make a response video, actually, because I was that passionate about it. But, like, as we were watching it, you privated it or something. Like, like as we were watching it, it went private. Like, the very yeah. second. We had gotten through, I think, the first third. We had just what finished the whole section. We of watched, like, the and first four just, minutes. And then Iman joined in and went, wait, it's, like, thing to, uh, video to say, unable to find video, what? Right? I want to get gone as quick as possible I because miss all these things. It always seems to happen on the server. I miss everything interesting that ever happens. <laughs> oh, come I on, wanted okay. it gone as fast as possible because the <laughs> every second it ticked by, the longer and longer I had to sit with just possibly the worst piece of content I think I have ever made. The problem I have with it is it was horrendously researched way too narrow of a viewpoint to the point where i was going these things don't work and it's horribly handled and the game should be ashamed of it and so then, the ih everything argument kind of <laughs> I, I looked at it too much from my own viewpoint and didn't experiment enough with it to be knowledgeable knowledgeable in every single facet of it and then was writing off things that it did without knowing fully what it did i i was just so wrong because i'd gone too oh what's the expression tunnel visioned uh blinded up my own ass when it came to it too personal is a good way to. i don't it. want to say too personal i want to just say wrong and dumb like because so much of the video is just someone who hasn't had enough experience with the whole project explaining why the whole project is terrible Mm -hmm. okay well i mean like here's the thing the reason why i wanted to discuss it with you is because um from what i understand the the fact that i've played this game so many times that like something some, like the levels to me are like actually muscle memory because i know them so well and like i know like almost every aspect like i looked into so many things and i thought it'd be interesting to discuss with you maybe some of those points i i hope i know that makes me sound like a total fucking loser i know but like you know that's oh, just just when something is like this good, I'm just like, oh man, this is, it's just fun, you know, to me. It's just something I like to do in a, like a pastime every once in a while. I'll be like, hey, I want to play that level again. And I just go do it. It's fun. I like talking to contrarians that aren't trolling because it's very, very interesting to see the opinion of someone who can look at something so universally loved and find something in it that they view as a solid problem. And when you ask mm -hmm. them, oh, why do you dislike this? They give a reason that makes you go, Huh. Well, I don't agree with you, but I can understand why. Well, actually, there are things. Believe it or not, I'm not a super fan. Well, I mean, I am a super fanboy of this game, but like, there are things that I actually think are not well handled in this game. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. There are things, but like the comparison between those things and the things that are like really good, like it's such a small thing for me compared to like yeah, yeah. the really good stuff. And I'm just like, you know, it's fine. And they're gonna fix it in the next game, so I'm I'm really happy. Oh about yeah, that. definitely. Hey, Matt, can you give some uh, examples of the things? Well, we're gonna get to that as we get as we go on. But uh, if you want something off right off the bat, I would say two of the attachments that you can get, I feel, are objectively inferior to their counterpart. That being the remote detonator and the mm -hmm. zoom in scope for the Gauss cannon. The siege mode and the lock on are just better 
like objectively speaking in almost every way why would you mm -hmm. use the other one fair enough that's about that's one of them but we'll get yeah, to more the, the big problem because in the video i made the point oh, all of the other ones are fucking useless the knowledge behind that was i picked up one of them when i don't like this thus it's bad which mm -hmm. was horrendous i didn't experiment with it enough i probably used it in the completely fucking wrong situation for where it was meant to be used and then just binned it without proper experimentation no, I don't want, and uh, wrote off all they, of them but you just said using wrong i don't want you to think i'm telling you you're playing the game wrong or anything you're watching movies wrong no no we're not pulling a patrick willem no no i see i see what he's saying it's <clears throat> it's like i was say jumping into the middle of a melee with the <laughs> melee with the siege mode and not thinking right Wait, Maybe this is for I distance. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's I feel Probably like not that kind extreme, of the same thing you get the when idea. people say, Oh, you're fucking playing the game wrong, and they go, Well, no one can play a game wrong. It's like, well, I'm maybe not playing the game wrong, but it's like what You're not using the tool to what it was I mean, like, um, what it's actually good with. I'm capable of like, like being retarded in a too. sniper rifle yeah. going up against someone with an SMG and trying to hip fire with the sniper rifle, losing the battle, and then going, wow, all sniper rifles are fucking shit. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, this isn't wrong CSGO, way. where people can just That's do that at point blank anyway. <laughs> well, you can, and here's the thing, a level could be made in such a way that the sniper rifle is just an, just not viable by not having uh, not having enough distance shots in the first place. Rust in Modern Warfare 2, that's yeah. an example. It, you could have something where it's like everything is jumping from rooftops, where the close range shotgun means so little, you might as well just sit from rooftop to rooftop sniping people. So you could have levels that favor or drop one upgrade, one style, one etc. Yeah, yeah. But like I said, a lot of times when I was yeah. talking about the attachments, I was talking straight out of my ass because I hadn't mm -hmm. experimented. Okay. Uh... Wait, uh, before we also go in, I want to say one more thing. You, I know you've spoken to Todd Chowder and uh, Majima before, or Goro, as they call them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they actually agree with you on the video, which is interesting. I, I talked to them extensively about the game as well, so I did uh, kind of leech off, like, you know, here's some contentions, so I might bring that up later. I wish they were here to watch the stream, but they'll they'll watch it on live you know, later. Yeah, but, like, they're both They both have work, so... Which is unfortunate. Members of society. Which is hilarious seeing seeing Sweelan literally say this video was really badly researched. I did not like it. I thought I was just hmm. talking too much out of my ass. And then we have two people who are no, like, "Oh, uh, it was a great uh, video." Bad dude. I mean... uh, bad dude on the screen brings up a good point. Uh, he said just in the chat, he said he's used the remote detonator. Now he's actually right. There is an upgrade to the remote detonator, the mastery for it, where it makes it so that the splash damage from it is actually higher than the normal rocket. And it also has the mastery upgrade where it can actually you can remote detonate the rocket as it's going and it won't explode. It'll keep going. That's actually, that could be uh, useful. Eman, do you have a link to this stream, by the way? The stream? Uh, yes. Yeah, sure. Hold on. It's on his channel. Yeah, I'm, I don't, I still don't have the link to that. You hard <laughs> subscribed to me? You heretic. No, I'm not subscribed what to anybody. <laughs> Now, this is plushy talk. It takes him like a fucking week to do anything. There you go. Well, no, I just don't have a subscription to anyone. Oh, plushy, you hit. Oh, I, wow. I go through my, I go one through my book the, first. One of the major reasons have this book why first. Goro and a couple of other people, Jabberwock was another one that was like, yeah, man, I agree with this video, was there were some points throughout the entirety of the video that people would go, yes, this is well realized and I can understand mm -hmm. this. But I personally feel that if I made 10 points in that entire video, three of them were solid Valid. enough for people Validly to go, yeah, yeah, I agree with that. And then seven of them were just trash. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to dunk too. I don't want to like make you feel bad for anything. It's just, you know, I, I didn't want to bring you down or nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna just... do it myself, so don't oh, worry about it. No. Like, I, I just wanted to have a good discussion with you, man. This is not, like, malicious or anything like that. Uh, not at all. I mean, it may have been initially when I first watched the video, like, for the first time, and I was like, ooh. But oh, then, yeah. After Another... I thought about it a little bit and talked about it with Majima, I'm like, yeah, maybe it might be better to hear him out. So A huge, huge, huge fucking problem with the video is how know-it-all and smug and fucking condescending so much of it comes off like oh yeah i know all about game design and these guys are idiots and don't know what the fuck they're doing and it's oh mm -hmm. hey, let me just Many say mistakes insufferable i think is the word you might be hey, looking for Shreelan. 
Let me just say, you're not the guy who said that there is no such thing as a video game. <laughs> oh, no, no, who the hell said that? that? You know, pod story. I think you. I think we could beat it with. There's no such thing as a glitch. I it's just the feature. <laughs> it's, it's not a glitch. It's an unintentional feature. He but actually. I, I'm pretty sure he argued. Uh, that oh, too. loot boxes was, aren't gambling. They're just features. I was in a oh, conversation oh, with a friend at school, and one of the guys present for this conversation came out with "lightning isn't real." <laughs> really, you, you what? Heard the argument. Oh, it's so you should have heard the arguments for there's no such thing as a game. It's, you know, see, a real game is perfectly balanced that the person's own body doesn't have anything to do with it, because that would be a chaotic, a result of chaotic genetics, and thus it would be wow. So real video games require chaotic instantaneous genetics. thought process independent of your own body. And because chaotic that doesn't genetics. exist what yet, you've this? never seen a real video out? game. <laughs> it was um, so bad. Okay. <laughs> I wish death. For like, yeah, we watched that video actually. I remember now, Shreela, we watched this video by like this brainlit, like this galaxy brained individual that was like talking about how, like, oh, games aren't like it's like tonal but on steroids. And he's like, games aren't really games. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's bad. It was bad. What games about, like, aren't you do games, a... they are subjective experiencing. You need to oh, be on the like, also... upper echelon oh. beyond human level brain to understand, right? The point is, the point is yours was nowhere near that level of incomprehensible. Those, like, think pieces that you look at and you go, you genuinely think to yourself, maybe I'm the problem. Maybe this person is just so intelligent that I can't see on their plane of genius. Yes. And then yes. you watch the video again and go, no. Maybe no. Todd Howard's no, design of Fallout 76 no, was just so genius that we are all incapable of comprehending is, it. The point is, your problem was not anywhere near that. It wasn't just downright, just downright nonsensical. It was, as you said, poorly researched. There were contradictions in it. There was a lack of follow through, but it, it wasn't that level of just, oh dear God, you are going to be the next locale. It, it wasn't, oh God, no. It was more like, eh. oh God, why? <laughs> exactly. It wasn't it's like, right. it wasn't like me and Trope Talks. You and Trope talk like the fucking arch nemesis. You're diametrically But opposed. everybody remember, microtransactions and loot boxes do not affect the game. They only loot determine if the boxes. player will win. <laughs> anyway, back to the point at hand. Back to positives about Doom. No, no, we already got yeah, to that. We're going on. through our first... We're going to go to the first... Brain melts. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. Let me just say before, before that... Brain melts out my ear. Yeah, from this galaxy brainness. Yeah. Also, just wanted to say it's getting way too late. Well, uh, I'm well, good, good, it's well, four good. in the morning. Oh, you got to go. All right, that's fine. Universe. Well, uh, you know, Griff says I hate Todd Howard more than Shui. I don't hate Shui. Um, well, he seems like a good guy, uh, but a Todd Howard Everyone though. I mean, he is a me. t Todd Howard is a liar. <laughs> that's what <laughs> Todd Howard is just a liar. <laughs> Admittedly, I have nothing against him other than as a professional, he is he's pretty bad. The man oh, has some crazy. gorgeous hair, though. Yes, he has nice hair. Todd yeah. is one of those people that... Uh, he's one of those people that wants to make a lot of promises. He's kind of like the guy from No Man's Sky, where it's, I'm going to promise all of these things. But at least the guy from No Man's Sky knew when to say, okay, look... We you fucked lie. up. No, it's we. F I fucked up. I honestly put way too much stock into what we could do. And then by the time I had to, by the time I realized, wow, I am talking out of my ass, it was too late to pull back. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know what? Foolishness. Fine, I get it. But Todd, Todd hasn't, Howard's Todd got no that excuse point. because they've got the budget and the means to make it happen. Yeah. They just. Mm -hmm. It may be anyway, that Todd's team is like, also The thing about Fallout 76 that. especially was that it was just so rushed. I think that's the main We're issue. also tangenting very hard here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get that. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry getting off topic. Okay, so the thing we want to go to, Plushy, is I'm going to go to like uh, section by section, different parts of the game. The one I, I remember mm -hmm. we, that we got through before Shwila nuked the video was about the level design. Well, not level design, but I think it was... Actually, I think it was both level design and the way the levels look. You know the way the game's assets like the the aesthetic the rocks thing the rocks thing the rocks thing basically oh god yeah. the rocks thing 
Yes, yes. Um, we're gonna. I don't want to like. I, again, I, I don't want to make be too aggressive or nothing. We we'll just talk about it. Please do. I deserve it. That 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 was a relief bomb. I'm sorry. It was bad. It was so so. I funky. didn't get to that part of the video. What was the rocks thing? Okay, so what happened was in his video. Uh, I believe when he says at the beginning, he says the game is hideous to look at, and he says it's because. The actual visual design of the game is very generic, and everything is just rocks. I believe. Am I? My. Am I, am I, yeah, he am looked I going at the pictures of hell. He's look. He was looking at the pictures of hell, and it was like, all of these designs are just rocks. And if I remember in the chat, we were posting pictures from like statues and carvings. We had pictures. I think in the video itself, it had, um. It had Shweeland running through like one of the arena levels with a bunch of enemies at them, and one of them was a trunk of a tree that looked like it had been ripped open and had just wires shoved into it. And I even paused the video myself and went, hold on. I was <laughs> straight up, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking during <laughs> the gameplay, the writing. It was, again, tunnel visioning so hard to where i was only seeing a specific thing right because that's what i was paying attention to and ignoring everything else and then taking my own shit stained opinion and slamming that fucker on the table as if it was the truth of god <laughs> and that anyone that challenged me was wrong there were bits where i was looking at the footage right where i was going ooh. Because even in the editing bay, I could tell I was full of shit. Oh. I was like, no, no, these are just outliers. Every consistently, the, the level design is blah, blah, blah. I'm right. Don't doubt yourself. You were confident enough in this point to write it and record it. You know for a fact you're in the right here. Just stop doubting yourself and go. And I did. I, I jumped off the diving board, did my fucking quadra backflip and landed on another diving board bounced out of the pool, hit a small child on the way down, <laughs> and died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the poor small child. That was a good metaphor. Thank you. <laughs> but the, the, with stuff like that, it's why um, it, it's why a lot of it, it's why at least a lot of the YouTubers I've seen have people watch their videos third party and go okay, someone besides me needs to look at this. Because yeah it's something that most creative whether it be writer whether it be writers animators essayists they all go no you've got to focus on getting through your points getting to it and being confident when you've said is you know your own confidence and sometimes that really comes back to bite you in the ass you do need to have someone sit down and go okay what's the third party reaction to this when I, action to this are my are the doubts i originally had something that other people are going to say if I had gone to a third party to ask for fucking, you know, like a mate's rates fucking overview with a video, that person wouldn't have given me feedback. They wouldn't have given me criticism. They would have taken their headphones off, stood up, and punched me in the fucking face the second they finished the first 20 minutes of that video because it was garbage. They would have pinned me down and asked me what the fuck is wrong with me for thinking any of what I just said was right. Ooh, I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to take things that far, man. It's it's not. Well, I mean, the worst thing of existence. I mean, come on, dude, you're not. You're not. You're not, you're not. You're not fucking Quentin. <laughs> Just slow. <laughs> Where? Well, I mean, and Quentin has no self awareness. Let's also keep that in mind. Remember, now I do provide no work giving. Work because uh, the example I gave was one where it was just nonsense. Do you still stand by that? At least in some of the earlier some of at least some or any aspects of the game's level design itself no no don't get me wrong shuilin is right in that you know there are some parts that are yeah they're all rocky sure but i mean i feel like there are parts that are uniquely you know visually at least i, I mean we can disagree on that i mean i have examples here i can pull them up do we have a few uh, do we have at least can, do we are, are they isolated examples or is there just one section of the game where it's yeah, they rushed through this because they either didn't, because for whatever reason. Not like, really. I mean, a lot of the, I mean, there's there's a level that they use twice. Once is uh, Argent Facility, which is level four, and then Argent Facility Destroyed, which is level six. Um, no, no, seven. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> yeah, those two. So, th but um, one is just when it's functional, and the other one is completely destroyed. And the actual layout of the map is actually completely different when it's destroyed. Yeah, if I remember correctly, you may go back to the same opening hub of the area, but you retreat through it in a completely different way. Yep, that's right. There's not a single level in Doom that feels like a rush job. Mm -hmm. that, like I agree with every that. every single place in there feels like it spent fucking as long as they could on perfecting what they needed to the style they wanted it to. Like, one of the fucking stupidest things I said in that video was regards to the Argent Tower, where I was like, you know, head up my own arse, and it finally learned how to develop video games again, or remembered how to design levels. Yeah, I remember like, when I oh, heard that. It oh, was like, because, mm. because I don't like how the level's laid out. That means all the work and effort they've put into other parts of it, that doesn't count. Yeah, fuck off. Well, actually, there's one thing about that tower. The Argent Tower is actually my favorite level. Same? Like, e even, Same. Not, e not, not even just the design, but just in, like, the way it's, like, I guess, paced, if that makes sense. Like, you go into, you have three different, well, there's, there's one, two, three, four, five, there's five arenas. And the fifth one, actually, is an infinite arena. You literally have to survive as more and more demons pour in. That's, I like that part. Like, I, I always love doing that. It's like, I just kill as many as I possibly can with, like, my heavy weapons. It's really fun. Before there's also an interest. There's also... There's also kind of an interesting, uh, because that actually has a lot of interesting ideas. One of which is, it, it gives you a, it gives you a real choice on how you kind of tackle this problem. You could just w use up all your heavy weaponry to get rid of the enemies really quickly and have a fairly easy time of it, or you could take your priority enemies, take every enemy slowly, and risk getting overwhelmed, but spare your heaviest weapons. I will be right back. I have pizza to get. Pizza time. Oh, you're being wolf. Now. Pizza time. <laughs> Oh, she's turning into wolf again. Or Spider-Man. Yeah. Have it's you guys ever heard? Spider-Man's eating a lot of pizza. You do you guys know that the, the pizza time <laughs> theme from the, the Spider-Man 2 game isn't like it's not an original composition. It's not. It's uh taken from an old Italian song called Funaculi Funacala. And it's a big operatic musical number, and the Spider-Man 2 version of it is like the bootleg heroin addicted version and mm -hmm. it's the funniest fucking thing to listen to if you've heard the original because it's just like the shit post version of funiculi funicala and i know there wasn't quote unquote massive controversy about it but italians get so fucked off whenever they hear the spider-man 2 pizza time thing yeah the 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 game version of it might actually be the best worst thing I think I've ever concocted. Its terribleness makes it so. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's in the Spider-Man PS4 game, isn't it? Like, there's a reference to it. Yeah, and it's one of the most fucking blue balled cock tease references in existence. It plays, I think, the opening 15 seconds of it when standing next to a specific pizza shop hmm. once per profile. Oh, and that's And what not, that means... It should be constant. ...isn't... Oh, yeah, it's not, oh, once per game profile. It's once <laughs> per account. So if you go to this place... Now, I might be wrong about this. This is all I know. But from what I know, the reference itself is you go to it, you hear uh, the pizza theme for 10 seconds, then it never plays again on your PlayStation Network account. Doesn't matter if you go back another day, it doesn't matter if you new game plus the game, doesn't matter if you restart it, you will you never really hear the console. theme again. Oh. Yeah, like well, I mean, that's a bit of a question. Of, that's a bit of a question. I have a reason. That's uh, questionable. It is, it's oh, really, God. really stupid. Like, I mean, it's a, it's a nitpick, I'd say, but it's still kind of like, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Not a big does problem the theme, with the game. Does the theme but, play again if you factor a reset console? I don't actually think so. <laughs> I don't think anyone wants to try that. <laughs> it's not well, worth I mean, it, you know? It's an Xbox, so uh, no one really should care. I think if, it, if it's your account, that's what it's all linked to. Ooh, Archduke just said EU Argent Tower. Those are fighting words, boy. Oh, Those are fighting words, boy. <laughs> it'll be like that fucking 
Arnold Schwarzenegger meme with the whole hand clap, and it's like people who don't like Doom 2016, people who do like 2016, bullying Archduke of Suno over not liking the Argent. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, me and Archduke had a bit of a back and forth in the server one time regarding Doom 2016. It was mainly about his disgruntled, like he said that Doom Eternal isn't offering enough, like something like that. Like Doom Eternal doesn't offer enough. That was a weird conversation. Indeed. Like, uh, let me see the Argent Tower here. Okay, so what I like about the Argent Tower, especially in the whole game, at least when it's still intact, you can actually see it in the distance, and I, I like that. Like, right here. Like, look at this picture right here. You can actually see it off in the distance, and you see it in multiple oh, shit, levels yeah. in the game, and it's nice that it's, like, well-realized, and I, I just like the fact that it has a presence, if you know what I mean. Yeah, about. boys, look at all them brown rocks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't be a racist. Don't be a racist to the Browns. I've never seen this before. I've never noticed this. My fucking <laughs> blind dumbass has never noticed the Argent Tower is visible and approaching. In fairness, and, uh... I also didn't notice it when I I've seen it played twice now, and I also didn't notice. Then again, I also didn't notice the Dark Soul, the amount of non colding the Dark Souls did. So. Mm. Uh, but uh, what also like oh is the God, way that this um. Fucking Look at that fucking landscape. Like, it looks like the thing. When I first opened those doors, you know, like, that's another thing we can talk about. The opening where the music syncs up with you cocking your shotgun is so good. I love the shit out of that. The way that it's so satisfying to see. Oh, yeah, that. I, br I brought that up it in the last like end of the video. Like, the fact that, I've, like, one of my points, uh, I don't know if you got through all the way through the video. No, no, that's the thing. We were, like, a third of the way through before it just got cut off, so... Yeah, yeah. One of the points I brought up was that I wasn't, sort of, swept up by the hype of Doom Guy being this super cool badass character for the reason that I didn't feel he had enough personality in the game to justify all the fan love. And my reasoning was that all he does is kill people. He kills people violently, but any character can kill people. But two points I brought up where I was like, yeah, that was fucking awesome, was the opening in the elevator with Dr. Samuel Hayden mm -hmm. over the radio, and the shotgun cock, that shit was the coolest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. Mm -hmm. And the bit mm -hmm. where Hayden is explaining how to take the Argent energy filters out, and, and he, he just, just breaks it. Them. Like, that, that was like, that's like so that's good. That's fucking cool. Like this thing. Yeah. I think, I firmly believe Doom 2016 is one of, has some of the best examples of show don't tell storytelling to me. Because like, Doom guy doesn't talk. It's all body language. But it's just, it's just his actions. And he has more personality than some of the really bad, like, first other game protagonists that have like no personality to them. Do you know, I, I didn't mention this in the video, but I think one of the biggest reasons why I didn't enjoy Doom 2016 as much as I probably could or should have when I first played it is I'd spoiled the well for myself before I'd even opened the game box. Like, before I'd even put this motherfucker in and played it. What happened? Ooh, pardon me, I had to burp there. Before I'd even stuck the disc in to play it, I went in expecting Wolfenstein the New Order oh. and didn't get it. Oh. Wolfenstein the New Order is my favorite first person shooter. Oh, yeah, definitely. All. That's a great game. I love that game. It's a shame the sequel was so bad. Like, oh, yeah, all the sequels are fucking I was awful. about to go, man, that's like, a hot no, take no, in front no, of me. The, what, the what reason aren't, you know, Doom and Wolfenstein going to be the same? They're both basically, they've always been the same fucking game. They were made by the same company back in the day. They focused around the same gameplay mechanics. I was going into Doom expecting a modern day, story heavy, varied, multiple gameplay route. Fucking basically, I was expecting Wolfenstein The New Order, and I didn't get it. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I've ever been able to separate that disappointment as much as I should have when looking at Doom 2016. Yeah, I will say, um, I, while I do think Wolfenstein New Order is a great game, I do. It's great. I like it. But um, was the thing before I played Doom? Um, I actually played through like the the week before I played through um the New Order and the Old Blood just to see how like maybe the game would feel like like Doom mm -hmm. would. Now it was completely different, but uh, I didn't have the same reaction as you. I actually started to get used to like the differences, and I was like, yeah, this is awesome. Uh, but that's just me. I I still like expected like hey, it's gonna have like similar high fast paced action. I would assume. 
But, oh, uh, fuck, sorry, I've been completely ignoring the chat here. People are asking me questions. Uh, uh, Griff is asking, Shwee, you do know that Mars is red, right? Yeah, this is one thing <laughs> that was, that was brought up. <laughs> this is a point that was brought up in the other live stream that I was sort of tagging in and, you know, trying to defend my points or being like, yeah, this was shit. A lot of the time, talking about Mars wasn't the problem I had with the level design. Like, I was like, oh, all the level design, you know, shit's repetitive, it all looks the same. People were like, you do know Mars is red, right? And I was like, yeah, but that's no justification for why the interiors all look the fucking same. And this was an argument about a point, all of it was wrong, because the fucking interiors don't all look identical. I'm just full of shit most mm -hmm. of the time. Let's get into that, so right here. It doesn't. So I mean, we can look at the I uh... tried to make was that I'm not so much complaining about Mars, but the fact that all the interiors that don't have to play by the rules of the planet for what they look like. And yeah, the hell, fair, like the hell dimension. Say, yeah, I guess. That's not to say you. That's not to say you couldn't screw up level design. It's yes, Mars is red, but if all you had was just background after background after background after backdrop but is effectively just like red boring mountain landscape you can craft those mountains as beautifully as you want but if all they are are mountains and red landscape that's gonna look terrible but we have examples and tech there's two right here where it's like no that's not the case you actually get motions of the clouds you get light shining in different directions you get actual structures in the background and not just the argent tower but a lot oh, of other um, things as well hey uh leto brought something up in regards to the argent tower thing he says the fact that you can see the tower in big distance is similar to the citadel in half-life 2 and yes i agree you like show off that there's this huge structure and there's a build-up where you actually go to it and that's in this game too and i like that it also reminds me of uh of some of the stuff in dark souls Mm -hmm. Like you can see, I think you can actually see an Orlando in the distance when you start, right? Yes, you can see yeah, an Orlando. Yeah, yeah. I think you can see an Orlando almost everywhere. Yeah, I'm just, I'm I, just I haven't played the game in a very long time. Uh, so, yeah. I played it. I played a Sorcerer Run recently, and yeah, you can see it everywhere that you, if you aren't underground, you can see an Orlando. Oh, Elif. Elif's in the chat. Okay. Wait, maybe Elif wants to join us because he likes this game too. Yeah, good on you. Hey, Elif, do you want to join us? <laughs> but anyway um hey so um i want to bring you an example of like one of my favorite i know it's a simple thing it's just a hallway but it's like the server room in the resource operations center i want to show you how it looks i know it's simple because it's just black and red but like the way the neon is laid out is very nice to me let me show you hold on so there's there's one and there's the one i took in 4k so these two like this hallway i think looks very nice if I remember, we were also making jokes about the video. Man, the textures on here looked like they were taken right off the Unity store. Clearly, Unity does a great work in separating those little, separating the neon lines and coloring from each other. You know, it's funny. I was gonna go watch a bunch I of don't Jim have Sterling any videos. Memory of this place? Yeah, it's in. A, oh, did you just quote Gandalf one for one? Maybe accident. <laughs> I don't know. Morning. When they go into Moria, he says, I have no memory of this place. <laughs> no, I, 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 mean, I don't know a lot of Lord of the Rings stuff. That was completely accidental, but I don't this, I don't remember this hallway. This looks fucking incredible. This is leading yeah, up there's to... A, uh, this is in the right? resource no, operations wait, where you first the, meet Vega the, and Samuel Hayden in person, or rather, it's on a screen, but wait, you meet wait. Vega in person. The first Argent cell, basically. Uh -huh. Wait, wait. How do you not remember this? This was in your video. This was one of the examples you had of it, looking, of it being from it the cross from Unity. You <laughs> sworn. <laughs> yeah, it was. You were, you were going these, on with. You were going on with these man, two it, screenshots. It like it was taken from Unity. Alone. You saw these. Like, the take that yeah. entire point that I made, fold it, wet it, and shove it up my own ass. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, oh jeez! Can I end this video on sleep or something? <laughs> oh my god! I need to go and delete my fucking YouTube. Oh, channel. don't 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 do that! Don't do that! If you want another example of uh, something an interior that I think looks unique, one I'll go to is of course the foundry. Uh, you know the foundry level, right? Oh yeah, level three. 
So there was a note, I actually watched the um, developer's commentary from the level designer. He talked about when he was designing the foundry, he mentioned that he wanted to make it look like there were like metal ribs going up and down through the place. And I think he managed to do that because this looks like he like he got that point across. You see those like braces that they go all the way to the ceiling? Um, Do you see them? Not particularly. You don't see them? Uh, well, maybe it's hard to see in the screenshot, but like that's just one. There are um, yeah. If you look above you, there are several rails that are covering the cargo around. There's also drones that are doing it as well. Uh, but um, from what I understand, that was what the designer was going for. Maybe if I had a better screenshot, I actually don't have. I, I right think now. it can be. I think you can see the. I think a few of them seem to go up far enough into the sky. There's like one on the third on the third big girder. There's like a little. 45 degree angle beam that goes straight upward uh the rail system is obvious on the left that one's pretty that one's actually fairly hard to miss and it's i think it looks to be holding some kind of pouring mechanism mm -hmm. at least it looks to be well the thing is like literally filled with uh smolting steel so yeah. or metals of some I sort i can't even i can't even believe the fact that i had the fucking audacity to criticize this game for its level design I don't even fucking remember what half of it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what is wrong with me? And, and in fairness, in fairness, because I can give you at least some defense here. A lot of this is minor detail. If you're going through this for the first time, rushing through, running, gunning, not really paying attention to it. Because you're playing the game for the first time, you just want to get through the gunplay, the general gameplay, looking for secrets. You're not really paying attention to the kind of draw detail of what's going on here. And then it's that second playthrough go, oh my god, I didn't well, notice I mean, that. Here's some I more. played through the um, game these, six um, I mean... times! I oh yeah, I don't know what you but like. Here's the thing: that. as I was um, I mean, like when I, I mean, because I played the game so many times, each level, I mean, like I start to notice these things a lot. Like I just, I lost, I just like to appreciate some of these, like the way these were like designed. That's just me though. I, I don't know. Everybody pick or, pick and pick your poison. I don't know. I, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me because I'm usually super anal when it comes to picking out intricacies in level design. Hmm. And I think I must have been like playing the wrong fucking game because <laughs> i can't understand how the fuck i came to any of these conclusions no actually i can it's straight up tunnel vision i was spending too much time focusing on enemies and items dotted around on the fucking floor and not paying attention to the wider areas, just being completely blind like a fucking idiot, and then with my dumb ass not noticing any of it, went <sighs> fucking. Okay, I think this is more noticeable. What's this more noticeable here? This is a more of a fisheye angle, so you can see from top to bottom. Do you see it better? Okay, I see it. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I, I don't know. It could yeah. also it it the ticket kind of says something about the tunnel vision that there's it's hard to get yourself back in that perspective. And that's, that's kind of what happens when you tunnel vision that badly. You're just like, I, I don't understand what was going through my head when I first said this. I straight up know the reason why I was tunnel visioning as hard as I was, and it was because of the gore nests in this area. Oh, <laughs> fair enough. I yeah, spent yeah. so much time, because the enemies are dotted all over the place in this area. The foundry has, like, some of the highest concentration of enemies in the early game. Mm -hmm. And I was just yeah. going through it, gunning everything, and just not looking at the area around. It could also be, um... Oh, I lost what I was going to say. Dang it. Um, but maybe the ribs point I was I... making is not as easy to see. I mean, that's what the developer said. I mean, I just, I'm just I... quoting him, but, like... Uh, yeah, maybe I'm getting it, too yeah. much on that. I... Uh, let's go to something else. Oh, can hang also on, be, hang uh... on, hang on. Yeah, yeah. I think Shulan may have a bit of a point when it comes oh, to. Oh no, I, I was. Know. Okay. I, think, I think maybe I think maybe the sort of the sort of strict uh, color tone maybe had something to do with it all looking samey because at first glance, you know, at first glance I might not be able to tell which which level this uh, screenshot A might be taken from. Whereas in something like Dusk, where every level looks different, I could tell, oh, this is from uh, E2M5 or E3M6. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I have another environment that we can go to for more unique. In uh, level 4, which is the, uh, again, this is Argent Facility, where you destroy all the um, Argent cells. The cryo, the cryo state, the cryo room, this right here. I thought this looked great. Yeah, this, this myself was, do you remember how I mentioned a while ago, this was one of the areas that I was like, during editing, I was going, oh, you kind of, if you know it's an outlier, no, just believe in your points. I was looking at this like, am I am, am I a fool? Am I, am I not just a clown? Am I the entire circus? No, no. It's the children who are wrong, but no, it was me. There's also an interesting detail. If you fall off the edge here, you won't just die normally, right? You'll fall into this, like, vat of, like, icy, like, this liquid. I think it's liquid nitrogen, and, like, your body will slowly, like, just start, like, crackling, turning, like, to ice, and then you'll just shatter. <laughs> it's a nice detail. Wow. I never yeah, that one. yeah. If you fall down, I fell down there on accident really? once. Like literally, like you will start to freeze over. Like his doom guy will look at his arm; it'll just crumble and he'll shatter. <laughs> okay, note to self: next time I play Doom, go jump into the. Which is a nice detail. Game. They didn't just give it like they didn't just go lazy and give it the default animation for like only this one part of the game that you'll never see just again. Fucking spend the next three playthroughs throwing yourself off different surfaces to find out how it kills. <laughs> <laughs> in the foundry when you jump off the edge and you fall into the magma he'll do a t2 reference he'll stick his thumb into the air yeah, so yeah nice. i, I found that popular. one because i'm fucking shit at platforming in this game yeah archduke you think there's... there are too few enemies in the game uh except the last level i just i with don't that, think but so wrong. but i why? think no i uh, i think i mean they... Infer definitely disagrees he says it's an engine limitation that's what he now, told me is no. it... Now, hold no, on, I I'm think... talking the number hang of on. enemies in one area. Hang on, hang on, hang on. As bad of a game it is, is, I noticed Wolfenstein 2 had a lot more enemies. It's not an enemy. Okay, wait, I think also part talking... of the problem, part of the problem is that they sort of, like, they show, like, what was the last enemy, basic enemy to be revealed? That would be the Cyber Mancubus in Yes, that would be uh, in the, that would complex. be the Invest Research and that's Complex, after... yes. Yeah, so that's probably, like, over like six of the way through, right? Six or seventh of the way through. So let's and you say basically run out of uh, new enemies from that point. Everything mm -hmm. else, everything else is just like in everything else that's new are bosses. In fairness, yeah. though, that's not unusual for this entire genre. I still remember in Quake Four, where what after I think the last three levels did not have new enemies except bosses. I can go check it up. I still have a I still have a probably ask Dark that. that he knows better than I do. Uh, well, the the point is, it's not unusual to kind of run out of enemies until like the late game. I think the original Doom didn't have that problem, but that's about it. But there is still a question of what we mean not by too problem. few enemies. Is it too few enemies in total, or are they just poorly spaced? Well, I think you'd have to ask Archduke because he needs to clarify what he means. He yeah. says the only level that has a lot of enemies is the last one, or that that it feels like there's a lot. I don't know. I mean, we could talk about it. Oh, by the way, see you, bro. See you, bro. See you, man. Anyone have anything else to add on that? Oh, I got more here? examples here. So, um, in the Vega core, one of the parts that I thought was very interesting was the elevator that takes you to the Vega central chamber. It looks pretty... In I mean, it looks cool to me, at least. I think that looks awesome. Uh, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that one. I think we're gonna kill Shweetland. I think we're gonna kill Shweetland. <laughs> we're on it. We're on it. Ted's gonna putting his face I'm on it. Private this video I'm... and dislike it myself. <laughs> I'm gonna do a response video explaining why it is so he... terrible. Hey man, I think I think we've discovered the way to kill someone in real life with level design. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys right. killing me. I'm gonna kill myself. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. Dude, we just had a person <laughs> contemplate suicide on EFAP. We're not doing this. Wait, what? Yeah, remember no, Wolf? No, never mind. Never remember mind. Wolf? I'm not gonna... Remember Wolf? He was like, he had like a suicidal thing. Remember that? You don't remember? Oh, Jesus yeah, Christ. I, remember that. I don't remember it being oh, on EFAP. Good. Anyway, we'll not get into that. It's pretty dark. I'm sorry. The lighting Bushy. is incredible. The fucking red and blue contrasting is awesome. The spacing of the elevator shaft with the reflections. What game did I? <laughs> yeah, look at the bottom now. There's like this slight I think little you, mark. I think you played Wolfenstein too and confused them. I think I might have just been sat like staring at the wall. I think Wolfenstein 2 is, I'm not Wolfenstein 2, sorry, Wolfenstein like orders can, um, design with all of the, you know, the aesthetic of the German concrete and everywhere. Like, it actually fits, you know what I mean? 
I think that's good. You can't even use yeah. the floor argument because the floor, the opacity of the floor versus the opacity of the opacity of the glass next to it <laughs> is immediately noticeable. Plus the lighting on the rails. Did I play this game with the TV turned on? That might have been. The <laughs> I think I think you might I think you might have been watching like uh, like a, a, a TV version of Dante's Inferno. Actually, let me bring up. Um, actually, something I really like in design choice. Like, look at the way Vega's brain actually looks. Let me bring this up. Hold on. Mm. Sorry, I'm, I'm pulling up the screen. Oh, fuck, I'm pulling up the screenshot. Hold on. No, right now. Yeah, this is Vega's core. I think this looks awesome too. Like it looks like an actual brain, almost. Almost. <laughs> like, when I first saw this, I thought I was like, "Whoa, he's way bigger I've been than I thought." Really survived to the rest of the talk. Like, he's, his brain is way bigger I than I thought. This must be how Patrick Willem sees himself. <laughs> It's no, a big brain cut. No, this is just how Todd Howard sees This actually looks like uh, a pretty cool parallel to the Spider Mastermind, actually. Yeah, mm. but like, here's the thing. Yeah, because yeah. I thought the story, like, I mean, the story was very simplistic anyway, but I actually thought Vega was going to turn on me when I first played through. I thought he was actually going to turn on you. Like, be like, oh, they developed yeah, him with hell. They hell developed him with the hell technology, so the, the hell energy, so he's going to turn on you. But like, no, that doesn't actually happen, which I was interested about. Although I do find it actually kind of an interesting piece of a uh, character to Doom guy that he actually backs up Vega, like he given the choice he does it, which is nice. Yeah, I uh, I didn't bring that up in the video, but that was one thing I never understood why, because I, again, me being the fucking lord of all opinions, I didn't care about Vega. The lord of like I'd have just as soon have let him die because he just wasn't interesting to me. Well, Archduke, uh, we we're free to disagree, man. I, I don't see the problem with having too few enemies. I, I feel like there are plenty you of instances wanna, uh, where they're, they can overwhelm you. Want to maybe grab uh, Archduke in here? I do not want Archduke in here. You also have to remember the. Uh, it's important to know the difference in gameplay because it's very easy to walk into a situation where your aim is just really bad or you're particularly bad at a set of weapons. And if that's the only ammo you've got left at the final level, oh boy, I've been in that in Quake 4. I, it's not fun to be like, I've only got three weapons left and I suck at all of them and you just keep ramming your head against the final level over and over. Now, um, actually, I can bring something to your point, Shwilan. There are parts that, yes, it can look generic if you're only looking at these. Like, um, this is a part of the UAC facility. Let me find it. It was apparently the only fucking parts I ever internalized when it came to this. <laughs> Like here, right here. This is just an image from the USC facility. It, it that's the foundry in the background over there, by the way, which I also find also nice. Really fucking good. Like that's another thing. Like the levels are actually see. Like you can actually see the foundry in the distance there, which you were just at, which I also really like. Like the use of the green smog in this really makes the orange pop quite nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can, I can see and that. There's still there's still a contrast in that. There's still contrasting in the building to the left that separate each floor and window from each other so you can it really also get does a really it. really good job of by having this green smog everywhere the progression paths of the the terrain itself is orange so it makes mm. it pop out with green lights no with green lights you can no not yeah. just the green lights in general if you look at say like the left side of the building you can see the outside air is all just green but then if you look down you can see the orange path just oh. above the health bar and that's like right that's terrain i can go on because it's orange it's contrasting with the colors that the rest of the level is taking on that. that's somewhere i can go oh, i didn't even that's notice that fuck that's was i talking about that's something that's that i that's something i didn't even notice uh Shpilan. you just pointed something so, out to me Thank you. Do you know how I said a couple of minutes ago I'm usually really, really anal when it comes to intricacies, <laughs> when it comes to level design, and I don't tend to miss stuff like that. I mustn't have had the television turned on. That's how I missed all of this stuff. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. You two should team up to design a game. Oh, God. Please don't, because I'll end up designing it, playing through it myself, and being like, what the fuck is this shit? Um, do you think, like, I'm, I want to point out something here in this hallway. I like how the light actually comes out from the ground, and there's fog there to show that there's light. That's, like, a small yeah, detail that I really like. 
And you can see that as well if when the lights are turned. You can even wrecked. see that when the lights are turned off, when the emergency lights are on, you can see that. I believe in this image, you can see the same thing, but it's yeah, with yeah. the emergency lights. You can lights. also tell because of the way that light's coming up that there's something you can check underneath the grate. Mm -hmm. This is where, if I remember correctly, there's either ammo or one of the little Doom Guy dolls hidden somewhere. There's one above you, not below you. There's one, uh, there's one above you. If you turn around in the hallway, if you jump over this little gap and you can reach like this little ledge that is above the yeah above the your emergency head, lights, then uh, you can then you can get like so a good. you can get a full armor from that, I believe. But like yeah, here's the thing: this is the same hallway. Lights turned on, lights turned off. Yeah, yeah. This looks absolutely. Fucking and I think this looks great. I think this looks good. Especially the fact that like the the fact that there's only one light source in the emergency hallway. And it like adds to like you know the fact that, well, I mean, it just makes it look more dark. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm this, just saying it looks good. This looks okay. Basically, what I'm seeing it is again. I'm gonna go into how well designed. Oh, Dusty this joined is in for art design, and how yes, did, uh, how yeah. well and how well themed it is. The idea that the safety lights are red, right? The facility is in danger when it's not powered. It can't protect itself. Mm -hmm. What fictional area is most commonly associated with the color red? Hell. Hell. It's mm. literally hell in the facility without the power to protect you. And even the emergency lights broadcast this dark, hellish feeling that mm -hmm. you are literally in hell on earth or on mm -hmm. mars so to speak also it's a genius thing that they decided to make the argent energy just look like red lightning it fits really well oh yeah yeah totally okay well like I... the shadows on the fog here even make this look more demonic because it looks like gates instead of just light um dusty there is exploration among the enemies is he is he is he joking hmm? hey, look at the chat is dusty joking around i, I think he is Pushy? I'm here. Y you seeing it? Yeah, I'm seeing yeah, it. Like, he's saying, wouldn't it be fun if at one point it intertwined exploration amongst the enemies? It's like, that's a joke, right? I'm not really sure what that means. If he means there's so, not enough exploration, there, there, there is. Didn't I we talk? Uh, Smilin, you, you mentioned oh, it earlier maybe? that the secrets give a lot of exploration options. I don't know, maybe what he's suggesting is something similar to what, like, Okay, Deus I don't know if he's being, I don't think he's being serious. Uh, don't worry about it. Okay. I think he is. Yeah, at least it doesn't matter, like... Uh, we'll get to the I, enemy, way, we'll I get have, to the combat eventually. Questions. Actually, now we can talk about, now that we've talked about the facility, now let's talk about Hell, which is the part that, I mean, Majima, Todd, yeah, and you do not box. like that much. But, um... <laughs> Hold that's, on! They, like, Todd and Majima, when I spoke to them, they said they prefer Doom 3's Hell. Now... I don't understand why, but it's fine. Uh, they, they have their own opinions. They're allowed to be wrong. I don't um, actually remember if I ever got to hell in Doom Three before I just got bored and quit the game. Ooh, that's gonna that's gonna upset them. <laughs> yeah, probably. But knowing my fucking track record with this franchise, I'll go back and apparently Doom Three will be the fucking greatest you... game I've ever. You wrote that. Huh. You wrote that video, having not even completed the game. Oh no, not Doom twenty sixteen. Doom three. Oh, okay. Like that's that's what I was. Yeah, I I remember so little about Doom three except for the turkey punching cabinet. <laughs> oh, there's actually an arcade that's... game in this machine that is basically that, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's... that is. Yes, that, that was it. It's in the the little. It's luncheon in area. I believe it's in Olivia's office. No, there's and that and like throughout the game. Yeah, there's it. that, and then there's the one in the there's the one behind one of the rune trials. The, the actual the actual puncher is the one behind the doom uh, behind the rune trial. But yeah, there's multiple wow. arcade games here. Yeah. There's oh yeah. Some... The 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 rune trials. Those were another thing I found quite. I liked. I enjoyed a few. They were I like nice... the idea behind them, yes. I, I did like that you actually had to work for the upgrades, but it was a simple challenge. Some of challenge. them were a bit sort of like, are you fucking kidding me? This is a little bit tedious. But the idea that they put in so many sort of like sequence breaking, here's something else that you can, you know, put your talents to and use your weapons differently to break up regular flowing gameplay and get a mm -hmm. reward out of it that would actually affect and alter and benefit your play. Mm-hmm. 
What's this? God, I'm gonna need to fucking print like a legal retraction after this. <laughs> uh, all right, so now I want to talk about hell. Uh, mainly, I want to start with the part that I think is very strong, which to me would be the Titan's Realm. Are you familiar with that level? Is that the one with the giant skull? The one with the giant carcass of the Titan that the Doom guy killed. Yeah. I barely Are you familiar remember with that? It. Oh, well, I, I mean, if, 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 you find it, if you find it unmemorable, I mean, we can't really tell you you don't find it unmemorable then. I mean, it's it's your... Man, you I apparently don't fucking remember anything oh, about it. So, um, wrong. this, when I first saw this, I thought this looked awesome to me. Like, this was, like, really unique to me. Just the fact that you could enter its body and the level took place in its body. Yeah, I didn't even, I didn't even notice that. Straight As you up, enter it, like, it, this is what it looks it like on was... the inside. That looks, that looks fucking awesome. Yeah, this here all foreign i don't even fucking remember this i'd straight up remember going oh there's a big head over there and then i just thought the rest of it was fucking wandering around random bits of head mm -hmm. jesus fucking christ like it looks like that's the thing i just noticed uh, it looks like the way that it's built the carcass is like the first half of the level and then the level slowly translates into a temple which makes me think they actually built a temple inside of his dead body which is really one cool. of the fucking points i make in the video is that they <sighs> Oh my god. One of the points I what literally fucking made was that I'd have been like, oh, it would have been really cool if we got a an entire building made out of the carcass of a dead fucking de <laughs> I know of that. <laughs> that isn't that yeah. something you said. Yeah. <laughs> this is an example of that, actually. Uh, I, I find. It looks like they built, like, thing. it looks like the demons actually built the temple inside, like, part of his body. Yeah. Which is, which that, is yeah. this is the oh, level we know. used as an example when talking about that. Like, hold on, there's a level exactly about to. The developers it. for Doom apparently agreed with it. Agreed with me, <laughs> thinking it was such a good fucking idea. Three they years stole, before I even. Hey, uh, yo, Id, you stole Shwilan's idea. Give him, a, give him his money. <laughs> oh, see, please don't steal. <laughs> Copyright infringement. Copyright infringement. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh so let's get to this other one. So the another part I think is very strong would be this. Uh, let me pull. Let me get it. Hold on. I do feel sorry with this. this so it, how the, did I a, even finish this? This level right without here. Without my future this self. This is like this is the level. The this is the level where you fight the hell guards, I believe. This one, there's this yeah, device. The you have to. You have yeah the necropolis. You have to open. You have to open those two doors to pull two levers. It operates the machine and it'll open the portal to the next area. So this, I, I explained. This design is really cool. Look at the way like all the people are like flailing like in like. Uh, uh, the only vague thing I could think of in similarity to this is like images from the Bible of like people in like, well, what's the word in like the Dante's Inferno comes to mind. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like the people just being tortured. Just being yeah, tortured. I think you're thinking of Dante's. It's like a statue of. It's a statue of that. There's statues of that. Like people just flailing, looking like they're being tortured horrifically. Yes. Statues of, of hell, of suffering. Uh, literally a point I made in the video <laughs> right next to the one. <laughs> About, oh, it would be really cool if they had fucking, you know, buildings made into giant corpses of demons was, oh, the architecture is shit and they don't have any interesting statues depicting hellish imagery. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, hmm, that's a big oof there. Big oof. God. Mm -hmm. Just for anyone that watches my videos or is subscribed to me on YouTube, just unsubscribe now. I don't fucking deserve it. Uh, Honestly, I'm the fact that you're, the fact that you're, you're admitting being, you're being far too hard. about everything. Dude, you're being too hard, you're, hard on yourself. If the you fact that you're admitting this actually says quite a bit more because, hey, uh, man, plushy. some of this the makes YouTubers we've made lol cows. <laughs> They didn't admit this. They honestly Plushy. doubled down this on everything This makes me think, I wonder what the live stream between Wolf, Mauler, and IHE was like. What if he was doing exactly what Shuilin was doing right now? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> like, th no, there's, there's being too hard on myself, and there's being completely admitting to the fact that the script that I wrote for this is horrendous and blind and brain dead and some of the fucking stupidest writing Shreeland, imaginable I, because I I literally every single thing i am critiquing the game for it not having it has i just wasn't paying attention i'm right here this is something Shreeland, like as you when you this. wait can i say you something? are not you are not on par with like with uh with um the really bad ones like no fucking... god it was red's video on oh god um, Oh, what was that one? On Lovecraft. And, oh, oh, my oh that one.
one. What? See, she was actually informed that, you know, part of the terror of Cthulhu is that the cults that followed him were for people like Northern Africa, Turkey, the Middle yes, East, yes, and places that don't have a very heavy port presence. So having them literally show up in an island off of New England is kind of is the horrifying as to how far reaching is this cult that it's as far as far as eastern Turkey. <laughs> That's kind of the horror. But her response to you're focusing so much on the race, you're missing part of what makes this scary is oh dear, I'm such a stupid person for mentioning how Lovecraft was racist. How dare I do such a thing? Lovecraft is a perfect idol. It's like she did not get it at all. You're at least seeing it and getting it. You are not on par with that level of just double down stupid. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, one other thing I want to point out here. When you turn the two levers, the demon statues actually bleed, like, from their mouths. You can see a picture of it here. Which is I also did not notice that about, detail. Which is interesting to think about. I gotta about, go back now. Which I like that. I mean, it's a small thing, but I like that as well. Um, mm. There's one other thing involved uh, towards the... Let me find a picture of it. The... Where is it? Um, oh, it was... Uh, remember that picture I showed you, Plushy? The pillar with the flesh growing out of it? Yeah, yeah. Let me see if I can get Which it. Hold on. That was another another thing I mentioned specifically that I'd have liked. All right, see, this, right, this is an example I found here. Look at the way there's like literally intestines growing out of this pillar of stone. Yeah, yeah, I was the first one to notice that too. That's just that one example. Yeah. Uh, specifically, I brought up the idea that I would have loved to see the architecture fused with organic matter. There's another example of architecture fused and with organic matter. And inorganic matter. Like, literally, walls made of screaming flesh was the exact words that I used. <laughs> you mean basically the textures from the old Doom 1 and 2? Yeah. yeah. So, so what we're looking at. Straight up, yeah. This looks no, like, I, this is part of one of the gore nests uh, right here. That's pretty horrific looking. No, I just wish they, I, it's a personal preference, but I, I wish there was more flesh stuff in hell. Yeah, I agree, but it looks like they're fixing that in Doom Eternal. In the demo they showed oh, yes. off, like, there's a whole area that's just all a big flesh thing that they just is Ugh, growing over there's everything. Some levels, there's some levels that I would have trouble with. It sounds like one of them. Mm. Uh, another thing I want to bring up is... Uh, it's not fleshy, but it's, it's again, the rocks. The dreaded rocks. <laughs> Um, I, and this is more, I guess this is more generic looking, maybe, but, uh, basically it's like a, like a little, this is like the two panel doorway to get to the first Baron of Hell you encounter, and like, uh... Not even then. And like, the walls are actually, the, the, the walls are actually, if you look closely, the entire, like, the all the brick walls behind them are just stuffed with skulls, which is also interesting. We don't have anything to mm. add to this one. <laughs> <laughs> the 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 little water at the bottom, the slight little uh, markings at the markings along the brick on the right and left. Mm -hmm. We spent so long talking just about like the the criticisms. Uh, of the oh wait, I just realized that's leaking from the ceiling. This, the, the 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 puddle of blood is actually because it's leaking from the ceiling. <laughs> Didn't mm -hmm. notice that. Another example of a again, this is more rocks. Don't don't hate me. You bring up American Krogan, how but dare um, you? this right here, I like they integrate. <laughs> they actually integrated the red argent lightning into the into the architecture of this room right here. I like the way this looks, oh, and yeah. the, and it actually the ceiling actually bleeds, which is interesting to think about. Yeah, you don't know where the blood's stuff. coming from, but the ceiling bleeds. Yeah, well, thinking about the ceiling <laughs> bleeding just completely reminded me of this. <laughs> 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 oh my god that's so fitting <laughs> oh yeah that's good <laughs> uh, just let's also not forget Sweeland, your wonderful line of there's absolutely no you know no integration between the technologies of earth and the darkness of hell no it's all just straight repeated imagery <laughs> It's another example we brought up. <laughs> another one I want to bring up, uh, this one right here. Uh, I'm sorry if I keep bringing up examples, but uh, this one... Well, I could uh, just one more after this one, and then uh, we'll go on to the next topic. I'm this gonna one learn a couple of languages real quick, because I've actually run out of ways in English to say I am sorry I was wrong. <laughs> 
Like this right here, this is something interesting. If you look at this, look at the way, look at the way, like uh, Todd brought up something when I was speaking to him. He said that hell is supposed to be a dimension that doesn't make sense in terms of the laws of physics, which I agree. You don't have to abide by the laws of physics in the hell dimension. You can make it as wacky and crazy as you want. It is hell. Okay, there's an example. Look at this. These pillars are just being held up by Argent energy. You can see the red lightning underneath them. Look at the way, like, also they're proportioned. And look at that. There are tree roots actually growing on them, which is interesting. Oh, God. I didn't even notice that they were floating. Yeah, they are floating. And they're just wow. being... They don't... Oh, how does the Argenity hold them up? Who cares? It's wacky. <laughs> well, it's more... Uh, it's a different laws of physics. This energy... And also, it looks like there's just a bunch of ovens around you. <laughs> there's just a bunch of flaming ovens around you. Again. Fucking always pizza time in hell. <laughs> hey, like uh, just imagine uh, just imagine uh, <laughs> uh, uh, a demon dressed up like Peter Parker in Spider-Man 2 and he's like pizza time <laughs> nobody's like oh my god pizza time <laughs> <laughs> no, no he's gonna look like Spider-Man 3 Peter Parker with oh the god <laughs> fucking Peter Parker comes in slamming pizzas on the table and you got fucking hell baron just like I'm not paying for and then Dante <laughs> comes in beats them all up and takes the pizza yeah basically mhm mm I made a joke about that once. It was like a meme. Let me pull that up. Hey was... man, hey man, I'm about to train you. I'm playing Doom for the first time in a few months, and I just got remote detonation. You just got what? Remote detonation. Oh, you just got it. Congratulations. Congrat congratulations. You won. All right, this was a meme I actually made uh, after playing DMC5. I thought it was funny. Oh, Jesus. Not the pizza! Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I thought it'd be fun. I mean, Theo thought it was hilarious. It's Theo good. likes his Devil May Cry memes. I mean, I, I mean, I played that game recently. I liked it. I thought it was really fun. Anyway, let's go on. Okay, this is the last thing I want to bring up. It's the. Are you familiar with in Doom One? There's a thing called the Icon of Sin. Are you familiar with it? Oh, I know that name. Yes, it is the final boss of Doom One, I believe. Or is it Doom 2? Doom it's the big, big two, wall, sorry. The big wall that attacks you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, um, this is a thing. There is actually a... The Icon of Sin is actually in the game, believe it, or, believe it or not. And when I saw this, I thought this was fucking mental. This was awesome. This was fucking sick. And it was all in this big floating, empty void area. It even has the same opening from, the, from Doom 2 in its head. With the same symbol in it, it's, it's cool to me. I actually didn't even know that. Yeah. And like, look was... at the way that like the it looks like it's part of a bigger creature. There's like a you see that big rib it looks like a rib cage in the back. It looks like it's part Fine. of a bigger creature. Yeah. In fact, this whole area, this part right here, where after you exit the device, that one with all of the people looking like they're being tortured, you know, after you open it and you go to the area below you. Yeah, this is where that is. There's also there's actually a bunch of different huge skeletons down there. Of yeah, yeah, probably just, massive just look creatures. At all of them fucking brown rocks. <laughs> <laughs> also, I like the neat detail that the icon of sin is actually chained up, which is also nice. Yeah, yeah. Again, I, I gotta stop pestering you with examples of like stuff. I'm sorry. I, no, I don't want to. I think wanna, we're I also prepared. I think no, we're also e prepared with. I'm all of sorry. The I think you were also some, also coming prepared with Schwieland really die hard defending himself and you brought, wanted to bring in as many examples as possible. And then I like this here. This is Argent Dinor. This is the last level. And uh, that's the last one I'm going to bring up. But like, I like the statue of the Doom guy there, which is like a nice piece of world building, which I also like. And the fact that this looks like a this, this that's where the um, well actually is. If in the I didn't even there. notice it, but even this place is being like held together by gigantic fucking chains. Yeah, that seems to be a common theme in this chains. It's uh, an idea behind. I mean, that's, I think that's actually mentioned in the Bible, isn't it? The idea that Satan chains you, or like not only physically uh, but metaphorically. Well, he's chained in Dante's he's... Inferno in a few sections of hell. Uh, people in the yeah. chain, uh, the very center of hell. The devil is actually in chain. Yeah, that's the ninth, yes. the ninth circle. That's where he is. Mm-hmm. I, I think there's something in Dante's Inferno about being chained up, Doctor. I think that's what you're talking about. Yeah, then I like, um, I like that they incorporated not, that in here. That's nice. Uh, not specifically in terms of uh, souls being tortured by being chained up. No, I think it's other entities in the in the. And of course, in the, the contrast of the green flames. 
which I yeah, also like. Yeah, green. That's another thing that doesn't exist in Doom 2016, apparently. <laughs> According to some about? fucking oh, idiot that did literally no game. research in into any. Um, well, if you want to talk about places where there's actually greenery, there is one. The hydroponics area in the Argent facility. Yeah, yeah. There's a bunch of plants. I guess they're growing, They're being grown hydroponically. I don't think it's for food. I think it's for research. I think it's for oxygen, actually. Well, they actually have an oxygen generating, like, they say in, like, one of the little tabs you can pick up that it says that there's actually an oxygen generating device that they use to, like, create an atmosphere for the planet. Though you still need uh... a suit to go outside, you just don't need oxygen. It's just to protect yourself yeah, from the dust storms. Yeah, it'll be the, the radiation, won't it? No, no, it's the dust storms. Uh... From what I remember correctly. And also, it's fucking cold! Yeah, yeah, it's Mars. Atmosphere. You, the Mars, the, I think Mars can get to negative 84 degrees Fahrenheit at times. Yeah, yeah. That's fucking cold. Mm -hmm. That's colder than. Colder than a witch's tip. Right, what else was I wrong about while we're here? <laughs> there was actually one point, uh, there was actually was one time, I think two years ago, where there was a place in the Arctic that was actually colder than the surface of Mars at one point they observed. That's interesting to think about. What's the Arctic? What do you expect? Oh yeah, but like to go that low, that's pretty bad. <laughs> it was in Canada, actually. No, Canada. Sorry. Yeah, there are parts of the Arctic in Canada. But anyway, that's off topic. Okay, so that'll be the last piece of like the levels looks themselves to bring you up to you. I just um, I think um, I mean, Pushy said when I brought these up that yeah, these are pretty good examples. Ema, do you think they're good examples? I feel like the the last two are kind of the only ones that play into anything I said because you know it's it's very orange. Uh huh. But like actually, that whole apparently. level is very orange. I think it's because yeah, of the light. Yeah, very very orange. I think it's because of the light of coming off of the terrain. well. Yeah, I think it's because of the light coming off the well that everything's orange. That's just why. And I think. even yeah. then, you can see the views of the clouds, the construction of the the construction of that building on that little wall section on the right that looks like it actually used to be something. Yeah, but it's just a bunch of rocks though. This is an area in the Cadinger Sanctum. This is like the last arena. It also has, um, when you go to it, it's not before, like, of, like as you go into it, like, it actually, the whole environment starts becoming very deep red, which is something I noticed too. But it's only when you get close to this thing, I think it's the light coming off of that beam. Oh yeah, definitely. More than likely what's and happening is the light. And I think that's what's happening in this level, this is what's happening in the level above. I think that's the same idea because all the Argent energy comes from that well. So, yeah, I guess it makes sense. I mean, I know hell is not supposed to make sense, but, you know. Um, uh, one thing, uh, okay, I'm sorry, absolutely last thing. Um, uh, another thing, it ties into the thing Todd told me about hell doesn't have to make sense, really. The fact that there are candles everywhere in the game, like, they're just candles that are lit everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that way that is integrated into the environment. I mean, it's nonsensical, but it has, like, a th like a theme, like, has, like, a little religious tone to it, I guess, because candles are often mm -hmm. used in religious congregations. You yeah, can yeah, see them both in hell and also in the facility from the cultists. Oh, yeah, that's fucking everywhere. And uh, that, there was actually a joke about that. It's like there's a candle demon. He just has like 10 lighters on each of his one on each of his fingers. And he's just going around lighting all the candles. <laughs> yeah, I, remember, I remember reading about that in one of them. That was just a joke, though. I don't think it's real. But if it was, that'd be I, fucking I, funny. I, it might have been something in Doom 3 or it might have been something in Doom 4. That there is a reason why all the candles get lit and there are demons that just light the candles because it's something that signals the rest of them, I think. Well, like even the, the demons the... like yeah. fire. Mm -hmm. Also, I, I want to bring I'll... attention to these these switches. Well, not switches. The the actual Doom Slayer testaments. Like even this, the design of it, I think looks really nice. It really pops in the environment again because it's green. Oh god, these fucking I fucking hated these. Hey, things. look, it's some green. Why is that? Oh, because the monologue doesn't follow you. Oh, that's why. Yeah, yeah. It's not like an audio recording you pick up. I get no, you. No, no. I was like, D I remember going. I didn't bring it up in the video because I'm lazy and dumb. But this is a problem I had. I was like, motherfucker, I'm playing Doom. Why the fuck are you expecting me to just sit here and listen to people? Bring it. I with think me. it actually ties into the way the game is meant to be, like the design of it. But uh, I agree. Well, Probably, not really. But, but like the thing is, like I liked it something more. Act Man brought up. He said the all the little lore tidbits that you can find are purposefully made so that you can look at them on your time, not on the game's time. Basically, it's just if people don't give a damn about the background information, they can just ignore it. 
It's not a problem. I was one of those people. No, I, I mean, me personally actually do. I think the lore is actually they're building up is actually quite interesting. Can't wait to get more on I that. Wouldn't know. <laughs> Ryan, stay away from this game, please. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, okay, all right. So I think we've uh, talked about the way the levels actually look. Um, enough. We can go on to the next topic. Yeah, I'm just gonna fucking scrape what's left of my pride off the floor and follow it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wait, what do you think of this? This is just like a little stone carving. I think this looks pretty cool. Isn't that the Doomslayer's coffin? No, 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 no. The actual coffin is not like this. Uh, this is like one of this is just one of the little like it's like a pirouette. Table. Not a, not a it's pirouette. Like a, or... It's like a it's like a podium of sorts that like is elevated. It's like just a big slab. Uh, this this is really weird carving on it, which I think looks kind of very zenimal. It actually has the um the uh, summoner on it, which is also cool. Yeah, this looks visually very, very interesting. I don't know what the fuck it's on about, but it looks cool. Can't wait to get more <laughs> on that. <laughs> I can't wait for fucking Doom Guy to beat someone to death with it. <laughs> the next, the first weapon you get in the next game is going to be a tail. The giant. A what? <laughs> A tail from one of the giant demons. Just gonna be a melee weapon. Well, uh, you actually do use the pinky's tail to kill it. I know, but it's gonna be a dedicated melee weapon. <laughs> Stab it in the fucking. <laughs> no, your next uh, at the start of the next game, you're gonna break out. Of, you're gonna break out of one of the buildings with the leg of the spider demon and start using that as your generic just melee fucking, weapon. Just <laughs> oh, uh, Killian brought up something. It's probably a sacrificial table, actually. Hmm. Yeah, 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 I can see it. Get, right get, get, your first melee weapon in the game is just going to be a fucking random wooden table leg. Mm. Hopefully. <laughs> well, I mean, I think hey, that would just break from least... Doom Guy's sheer force. Well, it's a stick like weapon, so at least he, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> it wouldn't dare fucking break because it'd be terrified of disappointing the Doom. Exactly. How are you mm -hmm. getting here? Who? Oh, the freaking zombies. Oh, I thought you were talking about... I'm doing this I thought somebody jumped into the chat. Demons, they're everywhere. Oh, they're demons. They're freaking interdimensional invaders. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how they're crawling up three <laughs> three straight blocks to a... Who the fuck even got in here. in here to die to turn into a zombie? <laughs> 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 yeah, that's Minecraft for you. I still am baff I'm still baffled how I would have had this day the light of oh. what? Why is there oh, blood yeah. in my smelter? I forgot that. It's jumping um, into 2,000 degrees. Killian lava. pointed this out to me. If you wanna, it's another level thing. It's more of a not minor Plushy, thing, Plushy, but Octor, Plushy, you should. I think I know. Plushy, I think I know who's uh, jumping into your smelter. It's the fucking lemmings. Shweeland, are you trying to hurt? Are you trying to kill yourself in my smelter? In my smelter? <laughs> lemmings. Only a bit. <laughs> um, here, right here. So, Shweeland, uh, this is something Killian pointed out. If you shoot the icon of Sin in the same spot you used to kill it in the original Doom 2, right? If you shoot it there, you'll get a collectible. Really? Which that's is like a, which is a fucking, which is a brilliant ref, which is like a brilliant Doom reference. Fan. That is an excellent reference. And it that does, like, even if you, even if you don't get the reference, it's not unreasonable to say. No, no, because the thing is, is you wouldn't like fucking that. do that if you didn't get the reference, because you wouldn't know mm -hmm. that's its spot. Well, this is straight up 100% made for the people that played Doom 2. Yep. Mm -hmm. I no, didn't even I mean, play Doom 2. It wasn't until someone people, pointed out to me that I got this. For the people like experimenting for collecting purposes, you know, the kind of people, the 100% completion people. No, man, it's I not think... unreasonable to say if you have, if you know, if you've played the game for the third time to try and get every collectible, trying that is not unreasonable. It's I'm going to say that's the, something you that, wouldn't even be looking at naturally because of how high it's positioned off the floor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this is like an evolution of like looking for secrets in the original Doom where you just like go up to every wall and just like press Click the buttons. use key until the fucking listen to a <laughs> <the> door opens. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that's nothing still to say. Than, still better than the original Legend of Zelda. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. In terms of my God, that that nightmare of finding garbage. Oh, oh you're gonna piss off some people, plushie. You're gonna piss off some people. Plushy. Gonna off some no, people. I, I don't. Th I think even the fans would fans would agree. Fans of the original would agree with me. Of my God, having to bomb almost every single wall was a freaking nightmare. Oh, there were bombs in the walls everywhere. Yeah, uh, some of the hidden areas were like just in the walls, and there was no indication what part of the wall I was really there. So you basically just had to bomb everything. 
the original Legend of Zelda because it is full to the brim of stuff like that. It's like people go back nowadays and think, oh, that looks like something that would be a bombable wall because they've played Zelda games. But if you sort of like mind meld back to 1987 where that kind of stuff in video games isn't common, why would you try it? Oh, because... Video games themselves aren't common. No, no other video, video game, game in existence has ever done it, so why would you go and bomb a random wall when there's no hint given to bomb it? Oh, you, hey, you I'm wouldn't. bored playing on my fucking Atari. I'm gonna go bomb. Yeah, basically. Another yeah. thing that really, like, really annoys me. In the first Legend of Zelda game, you get given multiple swords, right? And do you want to know how you, you get these swords, how you qualify for them? How? You have to have a certain amount of heart containers. But the game... Doesn't fucking tell you that. Do you want to know what yeah, the hint? Yeah, it's not like it's for fucking knowing what you're supposed to get to unlock them. You'll walk up to the sword, go to pick it up, and the prompt that shows up says, "Master using this, and you can have it." What? How the <laughs> fuck am I supposed to tell that means get more Are we more sure that wasn't R Are we sure that wasn't RNG or some shit? What the fuck? No, no, it, it's it's legitimately that he is not inaccurate. That is what 100% how it worked. There's wow. another thing. Uh, one of the, You can go to the old man and the old woman to get hints of how to progress the game, and one of the fucking hints they give you is uh, King Dodongo dislikes smoke. And you think, right, let's go through my arsenal of what I've got. Uh, I have a boomerang, that doesn't make smoke. I have a ladder, that doesn't make smoke. I've got a raft, that's not gonna make smoke. A flute, no. Ooh, bombs! Oh wait, but they're not smoke bombs. Their animation shows them exploding. Explosions don't inherently make smoke. Uh, oh, I've got a candle, let me use that. Oh, when, when the fire thing is on the fucking... When you've used it... It emits a smoke animation. That means King Dodongo must be weak to the candle. No, you have to make him eat a fucking bomb. You can also uh, just bomb him and he becomes vulnerable to swords. Why dance. not say King Dodongo dislikes explosions? Or bombs. Just that, if you wanted fucking or anything immolation for it. Or immolation, or something. Or, or D King Dodongo dislikes, bla dislikes just say, large blasts. Just say immolation. Just say he doesn't just like immolation. anything. Anything other than King Dodongo dislikes smoke. If a motherfucker tells me that as a hint, I'm gonna be like, like that's well, stupid. Like fit. the explosion, the main thing that causes damage in the explosion is the explosion itself, not the smoke afterwards. The tenth, the tenth one holds the bomb. I'm pretty sure that is a mistranslation <laughs> from Japanese no, to English. Apparently, it may not even be a mistranslation. Because that oh. is actually an accurate statement. There are actually the tenth um, enemy does in fact give you bombs. There was actually a mistranslation I know in another Japanese game, Metal Gear Solid Three, uh, in like the opening level. Uh, in Japanese, it says, "Don't worry about." Ocelot says to his men, "Don't worry about me. Shoot him." But in English, it's, "Don't worry about me. Stop him." So that's a mistranslation right there, and that can change the context when it's like, "Take him alive or kill him." Right. Uh, Dusty, in theory, the idea of trying out a bomb on the Dongo makes complete sense. The problem is that in the original Legend of Zelda, getting bombs was really hard, oh, and you had a so very great. precious, limited amount you of can't bombs, buy them? and you could you could you buy can. them out. No, there are certain vendors anywhere. in the game, hidden vendors that are never fucking pointed at, that you can buy bombs. Oh yeah, yeah, the ones behind bombable walls! Yeah, bombable walls, right? And if you <laughs> want to buy them, it's like, oh, they cost anyway. 50 rupees a piece to get three bombs. Well, how many rupees do enemies drop? One. Why, One. Are just, why are they just people hanging around behind walls like a fucking Edgar Allan Poe? Bruh, like, oh my god, legit, Salad just like, made a great joke. Goblin. Salad hiding in bushes in caves that will just Salad have just made money a great joke here, Shuilan. He said, King and, and Dongo, Ching, it, King Dodongo dislikes disliking the doom. act of disliking disliking. <laughs> I can't back. wait to bomb some Dodongos. <laughs> to bring it back to Doom, just for the sake of my own sanity, the, the point is, it's you not unreasonable it. to fire one bullet at a really, at a really, like, noticeable visual symbol that that stands out as much as that symbol does. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not I... just hitting a limited resource at a very at anywhere. You're like, no, that stands out immediately. I need to do something with that. Well, shooting it is really easy when you have practically infinite ammo. At least you have the pistol up there. No, minimum. you have to hit it with what a rocket fuck? to get what it. What the hell is it? Oh, why is there Stand triceratops in here? Nah. 
What? That's what King that Dodongo. Thing? What about That's that? King Dodongo. Uh, looks like a Triceratops. <laughs> yeah, it does. But I'm Dodongo sorry, I have never. Legend I'm sorry, I'm an uncultured. I'm an uncultured swine. I have literally never touched a Zelda game. Same, what but, about like, this? Not... Says, drop a bomb on me. Okay, Pseudo is correct. We've actually gotten way off topic on attacking the Legend of Zelda. Uh, I just okay, want to I'm sorry. Something I noticed while looking at the uh, BC Dick Stalk thing. Can Can you just 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 look how far video games have progressed in the in under like. 20 years. We went from the Legend of Zelda to Doom 2016. In <laughs> the dichotomy oh. is noticeable. Mm -hmm. 30, on the dot, 30 years. 1986 to, 90, oh, to that's 2006. To say. That wow. Means, that's, a good, that's a good segue, Ooh. actually. We talk about the levels in Doom 2016. They're levels that you can find with the secret levers that'll go take you to the old classic levels with the same visual yes. presentation. You didn't those? find them? You, you didn't find them? them? Oh my no, god, there's no, such no, there's such nice, well-contained references to the old levels! And they have I the same music! Not even didn't find them, didn't know they were a thing until oh, I Oh yeah, yeah, okay, here's what you can do. You can go to a- you go to a level. They were in an area, and it had classic map marked on the key, and I was like, what a fucking <laughs> classic map. No, no, here's the thing. So you oh go to a, you can find these little yellow levers, and they make it distinct from the rest of the environment, so you know that the, the, they all look the same, basically. You pull these levers. You are really not doing yourself favors with it. And you pull your, you pull these levers, and it'll open a secret door somewhere in the level. You can it, it'll be from somewhere you've already been, so it's not like very hard to find. You'll go to that, and literally it's an entrance to a version of the same level you're in, but from the old game. And basically, it'll unlock a level in the main menu that you can play the classic level in the modern game with the same enemy types mm. yep which is nice i like that <laughs> like you know That's the classic the you know the classic there's like a room in like the first level of doom 2 there's like a room with like four pillars and there's a soldier on each one you know which one I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Sure there, that's actually in the first level, if you find one of the levers. That's actually right in there. It has the same layout, too. You can push the button to make the, the elevators come down, and you can push the button in the corner to get the secret uh, full armor. It's nice. But is there a room with a moose? Is there a, mo is there a room with a giant fuck-off swastika in the seat? <laughs> right here. This is what the levers look like right here. This is what they look like. No. Shwilin, you funny you should mention that because yeah, one of the originals yeah. in one of the levels in the original Doom, it had a sort of swastika on and this, this design. If you look at it from the other map, now it was supposed to be a Wolfenstein reference because you yeah, know yeah. Nazis, but yeah, but it's just a, there's no Wolfenstein not... reference to it. It's just a swastika. <laughs> the blue. You low. You, you pull. Horror, you I push believe. a button and it, it lowers a part of the ceiling down into the ground. And if you look up. It's a swastika, but mm. it doesn't give it away as a Wolfenstein reference. There's no Nazi imagery with it. They just have a fucking swazzy in, like, level two. Yeah. And it has been this. subsequently removed in every re-release of the- Wait, Shuin, look at it. This is yep. uh, in the foundry right here? Yeah, this is what it looks like. Oh. It's such a nice yeah, little I reference. Never once found any of yeah, they're secret levers. I mean, I found them all because, like, I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty... Like, I just I just wanted to find all the collectibles because I really like the game, but, you know. I, I've seen people... I've seen... I remember seeing uh, Markiplier play, and even he found one or two of those. Another thing yeah. Killian sent to me. When you die, this is what it looks like. Look at this. When you die, it actually sews off the classic Doom face. Oh, that's fucking terrifying. That's also something interesting. That's gonna be under my bed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in fairness to Swilla, he's not wrong. That is actually that's like that's like in Doom when you actually get the like what what is it? The berserk. The berserk in classic Doom, right? Why is he smiling? That's when you get berserk in classic Doom, I believe. He's happy. Guys, this he can is... finally rest. Guys, this is yeah. what happens when you decide you want to put a right face in the game. <laughs> Again, I like these. These are like nice, solid. They're not like, hey, remember this kind of references. They're just there. You can you know I can actually look remember for them. The, uh, remember, remember in uh. Order. Sorry, remembering Wolfenstein in New Order, you could literally play an arcade You could play classic game. Wolfenstein, yeah. Yeah, and in the first remake, it was, uh, you go to sleep at the base and you have to play through the first level. Uh-huh, And, uh -huh. uh, in, the, in the second game, it's, uh, oh, it's an arcade on the submarine that you can play the entire game on, as I know. 
Mm-hmm. Now, and Dusty, in fairness, we're now talking about actual Doom levels and how nice these and nice and well designed these secrets are. We're not. We are no longer on a tangent. <laughs> Oh wait, uh, ki- um, killing bar. It's else. not even that. It's not later. even that they're. Hey, remember this? It's that the. It's they use the old style to build part of the level and then revamp it backwards. So they're they're actually they're actually developing with and working with the old, uh, with the old material itself and putting it into the game. So, so it's not just complete and unilateral random. It's there's actually meaningful points to it. They they use it as part of the kind of level design and collectibles. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, what's his name? Uh, uh, Killian also brought up something else. Uh, you actually, I don't know if you know the option. There's actually an option in the menu where you can actually switch the pose of the weapon so it's in the middle of the screen like the old game. It's just an option. Yeah, I think I tried that once and it was like the most fucking disorientating thing yeah. I think I've ever. Looked. I mean, I played through the game one time with that. It was it. It took a lot of getting used to because it wasn't used to my weapon all the being there. Weapons just grow out of your chest or your. Yeah, well, that's one way to put it. And yet this is this, and yet that's the way I play soldier in Team Fortress Two. <laughs> Oh, mm-hmm. like this is what. Oh, yes, the like. only way. I'm terrible. At ah, so yes, my this. giant shotgun <laughs> penis. <laughs> <laughs> my giant rocket dick <laughs> that's actually something funny the without the, the upgrade um, actually something funny plushie without the um, without the attachment the rocket launcher actually looks like in, in the classic view it actually looks like your dick <laughs> big that, that giant <laughs> rocket schlong <laughs> yes the giant rocket schlong basically and that, that one really does look like giant shotgun penis <laughs> um, that, that is a very some... weird kind oh. of design to put the weapon i could see why we stopped putting them in the middle of the screen <laughs> mm-hmm. well it's an option though it's, it's just something to give to players to like hey if you want to do it this way by all means you can do it demons fucking start coming out of nowhere and doom guys just like let me just whip <laughs> this out <laughs> like what if he like starts what if he starts helicoptering with the chain gun <laughs> okay, hold on, buddy. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're getting way the off topic. Demons start invading. Doom guy unzipped. <laughs> hey, Arch, uh, Archduke, it, why it, are you saying this? Come on, man. It gives a, it gives a diff, it gives a kind of dichotomy to the old. It, gives, Archduke, it also gives a dichotomy it's to the old. Supposed to be so a classic reference to the old. Ge- it's just something that they put in, just you know, as a, yeah, as a little God collectible. God forbid they finish the game and then go, oh, hang on a minute, lads. Do you want to maybe go back and add in a cool couple of references? It's here? also it's also yeah. meaningful to add in the. Uh, it's also meaningful to add in because collectathon. The guys doing collectathons will search through and explore the levels purely for collectathons, but imagine those players coming in from like the old style of Doom. They just want to get through they just want to get through the level, fight demons. They don't want to have to do the big exploration. This gives that extra incentive to go through the levels in detail and see all of that work. It's also so not actually like an element Doom the game. Twenty sixteen Well they aren't really they aren't only they aren't only hey remember this reference le- they aren't only hey remember this references because you can actually go into the menu after you unlock the levers and play the classic levels. So it's not just there, just to be there. Yeah. And as I said, it helped, it rewards that exploration even further. Mm-hmm. To There's people a purpose who to them. Otherwise... It's not just substantless. It's, and again, it, it's, it's not like usually Doom do 2016 lacks in content because of the inclusion of these levels. Yeah, it's solid on its own already. They don't sell yeah. you two halves of a, two different cakes. They sell you a completed cake with an extra cherry on it. <laughs> Archduke, That's right? completely fine. Okay, are Archduke and Dusty just being facetious? I have no I idea. Know. I don't know, and I'm not going to ask. Anyway, moving on to the anyway, next. Point. Okay, so the next point I want to go to is actually something more because this is something that Majima agrees with you, Todd agrees with you, and I think you still hold on. And it's the actual level design itself, as in you know the way the levels are laid out. I believe you said you think the level design is very repetitive and it's just arenas. Oh, uh, yes, level yeah. progression, I've yes. I've been in thing for quite a while. Ungodly repetitive. That That is the one thing I will put hand on my heart and fucking scouts on to say no one on the planet will ever change my mind about this. This is 100% my biggest point of contention with Doom 2016. And it's, if you've played the first hour and a half, you've played the whole fucking game. Do we have examples of uh, of specific parts of specific levels here? I did in the video, well, but it's not so um... much levels; it's the concept of gore nests and arenas. 
I think, I mean, in my per, I mean, this is the thing that we differ on, I guess, because like from my experience, like I think that the actual layout of the the levels being mostly arenas, I think it's something Theo brought up. He said that one of the reasons he liked Devil May Cry 5 so much was because he feels it has a lot of focus on what it's trying to do. I feel like Doom is the same way. There's a focus, there's like a focus of what the game is supposed to be about, and it's the arenas. Oh well, yeah, I don't disagree with that whatsoever, but this is, do you remember how I mentioned when we were like, oh, I don't want to, or when we get into the debate, it's not going to be me throwing down fucking hard facts about why you're wrong and why this is bad. It's preference-based. I cannot stand arenas because I find them extremely just devoid of enjoyment after a while because there's only English there's only so many points or only so many times you can throw me into a ring and tell me to kill 300 of the same 15 enemies before it just starts becoming boring Dusty and uh, Archduke are being often, so facetious, my god. How often do you... Because th- how often do you think the arenas show up? Is it that there's... It's almost entirely arenas, or there's just too many? I'm really hesitant to answer that, because apparently I don't even fucking know what game <laughs> I played. But from what I remember of the game, after a while, there were just too many of them. There were too many of them that went on for too fucking long. Too many what? I, make a, I made a point Arenas. in the video that oh, yeah. I felt every arena had a point where it would go, right, that's it, that's the last enemy, we're done, move on. That was a fun little break from exploring, kept you on your toes, let's go. And then it would be like, and here's the <laughs> other So it's, it's more heavily concentrated at the ending. Than it Not is so much heavily concentrated start. as the ending, because this is one thing that I felt it did throughout consistently every single okay. level. Too many arenas, too many enemies, repetitive. It, it got so boring after a while because there's like 15 enemies throughout the whole game. The enemies never really change how they act from beginning to end. So it's just Archduke, buckets, and buckets, and debate, buckets and buckets and buckets and buckets. Iman, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, Archduke and Dusty are just kind of being dicks in the comments. No, th- don't worry about them. Like, What are your thoughts on this one? Well, I feel like the levels, while I do agree with them to an extent, the levels, uh, yes, it is, um, there are examples of levels, for example, there's just multiple arenas and nothing else, like, for example, the, the Necropolis, literally it's all arenas, like, every single, almost every single one until you get out of the puzzle is mm-hmm. arenas, that's one example. But I feel like they make them the way it, it, it ties into the combat flow. If you get what I mean, I feel like the way they made your choices for how to play the game so very so like varied and you know actually engaging and they made the game fun that it doesn't feel repetitive. If you get what I mean, like they made the approach like varied enough that it doesn't really feel as repetitive as you know maybe to me at least compared to what Shwilin feels. What they did, I think they did extremely well. It's only a matter of whether or not you like what they're offering that, that's going to make the difference. What are, what are Dusty and what? Archduke going to I have no idea. Uh, but the, so, your, so your basis is it's not, necessarily, it's not necessarily bad. It's just you have a really particular taste to it. Just do not like it, and it over hinges on it. Man, Killian uh, is really helping me here. Uh, maybe you should I ask him to come in. The, uh... <laughs> Maybe in another video I made, I can't remember what it was. It might have been something, might have been Subnautica, it might have been something else. But an example I brought up was this wasn't being like a, a, a food critic or anyone eating a meal and explaining why the meal was terrible. It was a platter that you just don't like. Like if you don't like seafood, it doesn't matter how well prepared this piece of seafood is. It could be the greatest fucking prawn meal in existence, but you're not going to like it because it's seafood. Mm -hmm. Uh, Could you say that the arenas are well done, that they don't just repeat the same kind of arena? Yeah, the the arenas are all really varied. They're all completely different. You pretty much never go into the same one Mm -hmm. more, more than once throughout the entirety of the game, but at the same time, I don't like this arena focused combat because to me it doesn't matter how different the arena is i'm still doing the same thing over and over again i can understand that i guess to an extent uh it's hard for me i mean like because i i enjoyed like the gameplay loop so well 
uh, Killian sent me something I think is interesting. Uh, it ties into the music of the game. McGordon said that he made it so that the music would like have these like every time you glory kill somebody, for example, right? The music would actually would have to be like a little pause, but there would still be like a musical flourish for doing it, and it would actually Reactive. try to make it's basically so it could make every engagement unique enough to where it doesn't feel tedious because it actually sounds different as well. If I remember correctly, my, my body explained this to me a while ago, uh, basically the way the music works is the harder you go, the harder the music goes as well. Hmm. Like, if you go slow pace and don't really fucking smash, you know, the establishment as fast as physically possible, the music will stay kind of low pace for what it is, <laughs> but if you go, like, hard in the fucking paint, just pure Doom Slayer, the music will go absolutely insane. I never got it to, because I'm really fucking bad at this game. Mm -hmm. Well, I I've mean... That's how it works. I mean, oh. I wouldn't... I wouldn't do, like, here's the thing. I try to not have people use an argument of, oh, you're bad at the game, so you have no right to criticize it. Learn. I don't want to do learn. that. Me and you need to know how bad are we at Doom off. Because I think I'm the contender for the worst Doom player out there. Um, I can't fucking remember the game I played. So oh, I, I remember watching you play, man. Uh, yeah, Octor, watching Octor play was kind of p painful. <laughs> <laughs> no, how bad? Give me an idea how bad. Okay, Octor he kept. Are. Okay, he kept trying to melee the Mancubus, even though you shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> it, when it wasn't even, it was like at half. It wasn't even close to the staggered state. He was just meleeing it, despite the fact that it was doing the thing where it pump blast the ground to push you away. <laughs> There was an oh, that's another thing. Where... Despite being on a lower difficulty, he kept running out of ammo. <laughs> Dude, you have a chainsaw. What the hell? He ran out of yeah, chainsaw. Yeah, yeah uh, <laughs> really, really bad. There's a bit in the game where one of the later game, I think, yeah, it's one of the later game Mancubuses is just standing there, and I go into like gorse Medicine cannon list? siege mode while standing right in front of it, and just getting murked. I go from like 70 armor and 200 health to like 96 health. Might like even no, not 96, like 19, and then died after that. Well, Mancubus is meant to be a fucking tank that is devastating at close range if you get too close because it has flamethrowers. Yeah. The thing has flamethrowers in addition to the, yeah, the guns. I'm just really fucking bad at this game. My strategy for 90% of every enemy in the game was just run around them in circles, firing at them with a shotgun. Uh, especially, like, there's another thing, the cyber, I mean, the cyber mancubus, especially, uh, is, like, it's actually more health uh, than the regular one, because it has I so much really armor. Am I really on easy mode? I'm playing on Hurt Me Plenty difficulty. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was playing on Hurt Me Plenty difficulty, actually. I picked the game's normal mode. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now that's the thing I'll say, uh, Shreelan, I believe firmly that Nightmare is the way the game is meant to be played, but that's just me. Maybe it's just because i played it so many times, but like, I mean, a lot of people, it even okay, says- Okay, I'll attribute it to that, because I'd, I'd say it's more ultra-violent, ultra-violent is the way it goes, like, Nightmare, well, you know, it's Nightmare. <laughs> Well, Nightmare, they say in the description of it that combat is a knife's edge, and, like, that's basically the gist of it. You will have to be very careful. That's the thing. I, I like the I like the tension of it, but, you know, that's for later. Um, well, actually, that might be relevant to what we're discussing right now, but um, the difficulty level, I don't want to bring up against Shwelan or anything. I don't want to say, like, oh, you played in lower difficulty, so your review is invalid. I heard the Majima told me somebody told you that. That's just not, that's not a good argument. Yeah, loads. Of, there, there was this rumor that went floating around the uh, the 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 Mauler's Discord that I was playing on easy mode for the entire time, and I know for a fact at the beginning of the game I picked hurt me plenty because it was like normal mode, and I was like, right, always play on the normal mode because that's the the mode that's you know the middle ground that everyone's supposed to play. It's it's yeah. the one that's not going to be like higher tuned for a higher difficulty or easier for a fucking lower difficulty. It's just the the difficulty that the game's meant to be played at. So that's what you go for. But apparently, like the fact that I was taking such little damage, I didn't really understand this myself. People were like, <laughs> "No, you played it on easy mode, and that's why you're shit." And I was like, "But I okay. I didn't play it on easy mode. I played it on hurt me plenty Let's because that's what it told something. me to play on." For Jurassic, he asks, what's the difficulty levels? It's from lowest highest. I'm too young to die. Hey, not too rough. Hurt me plenty. Ultra violence and nightmare. There's also ultra nightmare, but that's like a special mode. We're not going to talk about that one. So about middle. So about middle ground. 
literally yeah, mm -hmm. just it's right in the middle there mode. yeah yeah also just another paramount to how fucking bad i was i basically only ever switched from using the the regular shotgun when it started running low on ammo it could be possible that you just that something you know you change something by accident oh or the difficulty level is actually some, um, something um alpha brought up something that's actually true the demons actually do change slightly as the difficulty level increases I've no I actually noticed it. Hmm. Like for example, yeah, I heard about that. Like for example, the hell, the uh, one example is the uh, the more. Hell Knight. If you are playing on the Nightmare or um or a uh, hurt, if you're playing on Ultra Violence or Nightmare, the Hell Knight will actually try to cut you off in certain places. Like you're going down a hallway, it'll actually go out of its way to cut you off and get in front of you, rather than chasing after you, which is interesting. Very. That's that's an interesting way. Another thing is like um, the variance of the imps slightly will increase. Like there are ones that will try to keep their distance from you. There are ones that will try to come in for melee. There are ones that will go for um, hanging off of ledges so they can shoot at fireballs at you from a higher, like from a, from an elevated vantage point. If you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I remember. Uh, the, I remember. I tried to do some fucking tricky shit with a hell knight once. I tried to be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna exploit this this motherfucker's AI and just make him loop around pathfinding me and he just was like no and turned around <laughs> and <laughs> uh, another one is yeah, like the, uh, not going the shit out of me oh uh, yeah that's that's funny one time I when i was playing i just ran escape. right into a hell knight on no. accident and it like scared the shit out of me like because like it was just I, as i turned around it was right in front of me, i was like fuck <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, another one is uh the uh, possessed soldiers um actually uh, as in the higher difficulty you go they will actually the number of grenades they will shoot uh per volley gets increased um oh yeah on uh, on uh, ultra violence it's two on nightmare it's three the volley of grenades is three <laughs> you know what i'm talking about right uh no the the, 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 the shoulders the soldiers will charge up their gun and they'll fire this like it looks like a glowing big, red orb and like when one. they hit you it's like a grenade, it's like a floating grenade yeah, yeah, I think I, I think I remember that. I think yeah, I'd probably they um the as the higher difficulty goes, directly. they'll spam them in groups of twos or threes, depending on if you let them finish ah. the animation or not. Which is also another thing. As said, it's out. it's possible you missed one, th you like change something by sheer accident without realizing it. So it's it's not unreasonable. Oh, Octor left. Oh, maybe. Lost. Octor, are you alive? I don't think I don't think anyone's just I don't think anyone's trying to you know lie to you or give you misinformation. No, no, I hope not. Uh... And Jurassic see, is see, right. See, Sometimes it's difficult to mode. Uh, but yeah, Jurassic is also right that there is a tendency among some developers to just... Of course, there are also damage modifiers, if stats. you want to know about that. But um, here's the thing. Damage modifiers, like, compare it to the ones in uh, Wolfenstein 2, where they just didn't bother with creating real difficulty. They just increased the damage numbers. No, they actually bothered to and make if... a proper difficulty level in this. Which is awesome. And to add, before. and to add to Doom, I it's because both both you know both you and Schwimmer are bringing this up. It's it actually is impressive that they have actually different um, decisions and actions in regards to difficulty because that that takes some that takes the extra work and shows a dedication to that difficulty. The looks AI like works differently. Looks like they're increasing it with Doom Eternal as well, and the fact that you can actually shoot off parts of the enemies too. That's going to increase things exponentially. You can shoot yeah. off their weapons, yeah. which is nice. You could even add a bit of difficulty mode, but I digress. Is everything okay, Shuilin? Yeah, I'm still probably just going to end up fucking running headfirst into everything and dying. <laughs> because right. if In six fairness. fucking playthroughs of regular Doom 2016 didn't teach me how to play properly, I'm never going to... You're never going to survive, Colonel. <laughs> Do you want to know why I think I developed that strategy in Doom as much as I did? It's because that's how you fought most everything, or at least that's how I fought most everything in the new war. Oh. I'd, I'd just dual-wield stuff and just put guns in people's nostrils. <laughs> Modular demon damage is what it's called. Or, oh, or rather. yeah, I keep thinking you can use dual-wield. Yeah, and Wolfenstein, I love- that's like one of my favorite parts of that game. The fact that you can dual-wield every weapon. 
Which is something they took out in they Wolfenstein They fucked it up in the second blood. one. They fucked it up in the second one, too, because the weapon switching is so fucking clunky in the second one because they decided, Herder, you can have a different weapon in each arm, but we're going to make it the most clunky and unresponsive system in existence. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. Like, like seriously, I could get a whole rant about that, but we're not going to. We're gonna get we are not turning into the fucking tang fastic tangent men. work all the time. What's the focus right. up here? So, back to that. Um, so, next thing, uh, okay, so, talking about the level design, I guess, what I can say is, I mean, if we want to come to a middle ground on it, uh, I mean, it's not entirely personal preference, I guess, because from what I got from you, Shwilan, it seems what you're saying is pretty, it's a valid, it's a valid statement. The fact that it's all focused on, you know, basically arenas, even if they are varied. I mean, yeah, yeah. what about you, what about the rest of you? Do you think, uh... I don't want to yeah, say it's an agree to disagree. I feel like uh, he's right. I think some of his complaints are valid. Yeah. Although, I, like, although I don't know how they're going to do it. In, I mean, like, when I say it, I, the, again, when I say it, I think, videos. like, I think they just, again, it ties into the thing I said about the gameplay loop. I feel like they tried to make the gameplay varied enough, along with also the music and the way you can approach enemies, the number of glory kills, etc., to make it not feel like you're just doing the same action forever, I guess. I don't know, that's just me. It could also be because uh, it it's screen that said it's not that there it's not that the arenas lack variation, because the arena combat is done really, really well. It's more like look, if you're running into Final Fantasy and you despise turn based combat, there's only so many ways it can vary that combat before you start getting bored. Yeah, at at this point it is it's a it's a decision like or dislike that's completely on the player the game does nothing wrong with what it does some people are just not gonna like what it you could argue there's a negativity to how often it replay it uses these sections that it's like it's maybe depending on them rather than depending on them in a way that's not useful to the general gameplay but that's that's an argument to be made I think it's kind of an argument that doesn't really have a lot of ground to stand on because, <laughs> like, that's the point. It's like going into a game yeah. of fucking, like, watching the UEFA Champions League and getting pissed off that they keep kicking the football around. It's like, <laughs> that's, that's what the game is for. If you're coming in here to complain that it's doing what it's set out to do properly, that's completely on you. Yeah. You could say there's a lack of variation, but that may indeed be kind of the point, that it the, the variation could end up working against it because yeah again, even if you made the argument about variation it's like that's seen again yeah that, that could just end up working against it where you have too much going on and you end up you end up making the people who came for the arena combat go there's nothing here that i'm looking to and you end up like it reminds me of the spider-man ps4 game one of the biggest complaints about it i heard from people is that there are forced stealth sections that nobody likes yeah, yeah. Yep. Like, that's the kind of thing. If there was a D section in Doom with, like, the level, I mean, if it's, you know, if it works within the design of the game, sure. But, like, if there's just a, like, completely different, like, designed level, I'd just be like, wait, this is completely doesn't fit here. What gives? I don't think Doom 2016 has any of that, though. Yeah, uh, it doesn't. You could, if you really wanted to, if you, Shwil, if you wanted to kind of really push on the, uh, at least the kind of less argument but presentation of there are too many arenas, you could go through the level design just, you know, like bubble by bubble of here's this room, it's an exploring segment, here's this room and arena, this room and arena, this room and exploring segment, this room and arena, and so on and so forth. And you could kind of just do a basic Turn outline off, push of push to talk? What is he talking about? Someone's talking about push to talk. I have no talk. idea. Yeah, I don't, I don't think anyone here is on push to talk. I'm sitting on push to talk. Everybody's using push to talk here. No one would push to talk really hurt anything. No one's cut off, to my knowledge. Noise? Um, yeah, someone keeps having like this weird oh. electronic feedback, but I don't think. Yeah, it's that's that's awkward. I think he means turn on push to talk, but that's all I can say. Maybe they're that's talking to me. I don't know. I'm assuming they're not incorrect. I think he means turn it on, and that 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 weird noise from Octor. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I'm making a weird noise. I've been completely silent for a few minutes. No, you do have a bit of a static in the background, but I think that's just. Is it your me? Is that, wait, I'm gonna let my background noise play. Is it me? No, not that I can see. 
You don't just don't hear anything? I have no idea. I have no idea what Dust is talking about. Well, I'm lost. whatever. Okay, anyway. Yeah, we're, we're just boomers. Whatever. Moving on. Uh, uh, no, I, I legit don't know what this is right. Even though we're anyway, not even the age for being boomers. The, the point whatever. is that you could you could go into more detail on this by just getting through Boomer each. Game kind play. of outlining the, outlining the different levels one right after the other. All right. Well, I guess so. Um, well, actually, we could do that because... If I remember, so the first level, which is the just the um, UA, the, it's called the UAC, and that one, it's just um, I believe it's one, two, three, four, yeah, four arenas. The very first ones you do. Uh, I mean, do you want me to go through all of them? Because actually, I actually do know all of them by heart. Well, no, that 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 would just we'd be here for quite a while, and it'd be a bit, you know, be derailing. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's just like I said, if either you wanted to kind of profound on that any further in a different video or a different live stream, you could just go through the game once, making notes on exactly, you know, what you do throughout and then compare. To be honest with you, I don't think that would be a very strong leg to stand on because it, in the same way that I'm going to defend Doom 2016 with the way it does its arenas, it's the same way I defend stuff like FIFA and Madden. It's it's a like, like it's a football game it's a sport that does it has a very specific set of rules how many times can you add something new or how can you change it up to the point where it's not the same thing anymore yeah like how how different can you make it while still keeping it what people came here for what can you do to arenas to the point where they're you know different enough but still arenas i don't think there's enough you can do Okay, Killian sent me this from the lead level designer. It's like from his mouth. Apparently, this is what his idea was behind it. I don't know if it helps with our argument, but with our discussion, but basically he says the term I use more than anything, more than anything else, refers to the driving force behind Doom's gameplay, from his level design to the movement to how you are rewarded with health and ammunition for using glory kills. Three simple words: push, push forward, push forward combat. You think about multiplayer, you're not backing up. You're going forward to the next location. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. Yeah, Doom does reward you for playing aggressively. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want to rip the spine out of that Hell Knight? Here's some health. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it pushes momentum as, as well. It's not... Because he's referring to multiplayer, where in multiplayer, you didn't back up to a previous spawn, because the previous point, because that could, A, give your opponent... Uh, a spawn room to get ammunition and you're going to a place where your enemy is likely already taking your ammo so what ends up happening is you end up getting kind of sandwiched without any ability to kind of refill your gun if it comes down to it you want to keep that momentum moving take down the enemy get the new get the weapon from its spawn move on to the next one before you get kind of outpaced and that's that's what the single player is very heavily doing get in murder the enemies and damage them enough to get more ammunition which allows you to just blast them with a heavy shot to push for more ammunition and it just cycles from there mm -hmm. yeah. so, so i can see what he's getting what i also notice is the enemies don't really drop ammunition unless you're really low on it they only drop health usually. they will always it's guaranteed in the mechanics they will always drop at least a single pack of five health but they no matter what even if you're at full health but they won't drop armor unless you get the rune and they won't drop ammo unless you're low on it and I'm talking really That weird. armor rune was a fucking lifesaver. Oh, I love that rune. It's like my it's like my second favorite one. I have yeah, yet to see anyone play that. It's kind of addicting to have it. I have yet, I I have yet to see it. Actually, my third favorite one. Sorry. I have yet to see anyone play My get first that favorite is Vacuum, and my second one is... It, my, my, the really? Well, we can actually get to the um, runes Doom's later on. Actually, but uh, my three favorite ones would be... Uh, number one is uh, the one that says In-Air Movement. The second one would be vacuum, yeah. and the third one is the um, armor defensive. Those three are the most useful to me, and the ones I like. However, rich get richer can be fun as hell to use if you have enough armor, which is fun because, like, you it literally, is, yeah. if you have more than a hundred armor, you will have unlimited ammo. But that was seventy-five. Mm. Isn't seventy? Very few to hundred armor can be difficult, but man, literally, it's like. Uh, it's like the scene from Mad Max where he's like, I am the scales of justice, conductor of the choir <laughs> yeah, of death. And then you just start shooting everything. That's what it feels like. <laughs> just pull out the chain gun, you never stop shooting. <laughs> Jesus.
<laughs> just pull out. You have the you have the rotary upgrade. You just pull out the chain gun. Just never stop shooting because it never overheats. <laughs> Dual turret mode. That shit was. Oh, I love the turret. Actually, we'll get to that. Um, okay, so are we? Hmm. Are we done with uh, the level um, layout part? You think? I think I don't even fucking know where well, actually, we are. Well, um, actually, there was one you thing you said, like the way you said the level you actually it. liked in terms of layout as well was the Argent Tower, which I mean it's my yeah, favorite yeah, level. Yeah, I agree, and I like it. I mainly because of the verticality of it. It's built like so you can actually platform as you go up, which is nice and it's yeah, all yeah. moving. Yeah, yeah, I I really like that about it as well. The the reason why it was my favorite was because you know being the fucking voice of god that i am when it comes to just speaking the truth was because <laughs> by my own conceited opinion the argent tower was the best because of how well it handled pacing of events i felt a lot of the other levels in doom had too many like i said arenas where you'd go into arena kill a fuckload of enemies walk 10 feet down the hallway to pick up a pile of supplies and just go straight back into a fucking arena full of enemies it was just rinse and repeat for the whole fucking game. And the reason why I liked the Argent Tower was because it had massive breaks between its combat sections. Yeah, to platform platforming. Mm -hmm. and that was that was great because it was the level evenly split up, so no one thing became too repetitive because oh, oh, oh. you were constantly also, taking breaks. What about the 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 way the I think Killian brought up? Actually, Killian's helping me out a lot. I maybe I should bring him in. <laughs> Uh, the genius way that this was laid out, where you first get the double jump, the little um, the little boots that lets you double jump. When you first get them, is the time oh, yeah. where you go over the bridge, and it's teaching you how to use the you know traversal mechanics of the game, which is nice. Is that after or before you get the boots? You get the boots first, and then you start crossing the bridge to get to the Argent Tower. The bridge is completely destroyed. And that's to teach you how to use the you know traversal correctly. And I agree, it, it's a perfect way of implementing it. You know, traverse something. You know something. what? I didn't even I didn't even think of that because you I was doing that like beforehand in the game. The first time I think of the game teaching you the traversal mechanic is the crane outside the uh No, that's just for the, single jumps. This is for double jumps. Oh, even still it's it teaches you how the traversal works and like Yeah, after without like without like shoving gets, it in your face, like here's a tutorial. It's, here's it's how you do it. To test your new power, but I never mm -hmm. thought of it as teaching me anything new. Because it was stuff I already knew how to do. It was mm -hmm. a double jump. But for yeah. people like who um, don't, I I don't know if you're, I don't know if you're brain lit enough to not know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But uh, well, it's possible you just haven't played games that make you like my dad. You should see my dad try to play any game. Oh, it's so embarrassing. Oh, I've, well, I've tried to get my mom literally. To play I tried to get him to play before. like the most inter the most simplistic thing you can. I asked him to play Portal Two. He literally could not stop just staring at the ground and going in circles. It just drove me insane. <laughs> My yeah, mom know, can't look, it's just move and in fairness, move the camera at the same. Yeah, he doesn't fairness, understand that. In fairness, the idea of a full double, a full like that kind of movement in a first-person shooter can very much be unusual and depend. And if you know you've played the only other game RPGs I can think of in visual recent memory. models, you might not instinctually you know kind of figure out that kind of jump. So having somewhere to explore with it is oh the only other game fine. I can think of plushy that has a double jump would be Titanfall Two. But that lends itself yeah. to the parkour of that game, which is just balls to the wall insanely fast. So, yeah. Yeah. You can abuse the shit out of the double jump in that game. <laughs> yes, yes, you can. Anyway, moving on. Okay, so, yeah. I think me and Shreelan have reached a middle ground on this. I, I agree with some of his criticisms. But from a personal standpoint, I'd say I can still really enjoy the gameplay loop, even if the levels do get repetitive. I mean, I'm going to play through the whole game one time before I start Doom Eternal. So and it's see. repetitive by intent. I might see what you're follows. talking about, uh, Shwilan. Yeah, it, it does everything it intends to, and it does it fucking pretty much amazingly every mm -hmm. step of the way. But mm. I was wrong, blind, uh, <laughs> deaf, didn't pay enough attention, and just embarrassed myself in front of the whole internet. Oh, don't worry. It's not the whole internet, just the part of it that matters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Most of it, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah obviously point. enough, this is a full fucking retraction, a full fucking apology. This was easily the worst video I've ever fucking made, and I will be 
god damn ashamed of myself and probably retiring in disgrace if I ever make anything half as bad as oblivious, as blind, and as idiotic as the video I made on to Doom be fair, 2016. To be well, fair, at least your Resident Evil to, 2 video is pretty good. To be fair, the ability to realize that and yet still stick to some of the points. Because you're still sticking to some of the points that you've made, such as not liking the arena. The arena, not liking the way you, not liking the arenas, but still, you know, understanding it uses the arena as well. Um, and sticking to your guns on that while still being able to see the mistakes of the rest, that, that does speak quite a few volumes. I still think I don't really deserve that much props for it because I got through recording, writing, editing, uploading, and like a week of this video being alive and didn't once go, wait a minute, I'm full of shit. In fair, okay, look, I'm allowed to be positive sometimes, dang it. One of us has to be. <laughs> I mean, man, look, uh, Shwilan, uh, I talked to Maji about you. I mean, he said your um, Resident Evil 2 remake video was pretty spot on, so that's something. I'm confident in that one, like that. And uh, I won't disagree, the... but mainly because I have not touched the game, so I don't, I don't know anything about it, and I haven't played the original either. So again, I don't know. Anything. And now is not a time to comment on Resident Evil 2. Yes, 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 yes. Of course. Sorry, sorry. Off topic again. Or it's remake. Okay, another thing we can talk about. Let's go to the next thing, which is uh, relevant to gameplay. Well, not with the gameplay. Maybe we can make a tangent on the the music because um, I think the music in this game is fucking phenomenal. What do you think? Like absolutely this was a, phenomenal. Uh, this was a point uh, I made in the video. Like I didn't I see that part because again I didn't get to it. Yeah, yeah. This was yeah. towards the end of the video. It was a complaint in quotation marks, which was I really don't like the music in Doom because I don't like the genre. You don't like industrial? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't even know what the hell fucking genre music it is. I just don't like it. I think the analogy or the exp explanation I've used for it before is it all sounds like auto-tuned cat fart. Yes, yes, and... yes. I've heard that experience. That, that criticism yeah, before. Yeah, I like... don't back. like it whatsoever. That's fine, but, but that's more of a personal time. preference thing. Yeah, personal preference. I can't say it's bad. I don't know if it's bad. But I, can I actually... just don't like the yeah. genre. But I can actually bring up like things about how... Um, like, Mick Gordon actually, like, I think Mick Gordon is, like, a genius when it comes to this kind of stuff. Like, he is, like, he is really good at what he does. Like, he's one of those top-tier composers, if you ask me. But what I like is he actually integrated sections of the old music from Doom, like, into the new tracks. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I know. Like, he integrated portions that. of it into the new tracks. Like, for example, in, um, in, uh... Skull Hacker, there's like a portion of one of the songs in Doom 2. I don't know the names of the songs from the old Doom except E1M1 because that's the classic one. Mm -hmm. There's like a remix of E1M1 as well in the main menu, I believe. Uh, but th yeah, th and he also integrate. He also, uh, what were you gonna say? I was gonna say I, I I was aware of that. I noticed that with a couple of them, and I absolutely back again. I had a bit of a problem. Hated that decision. Oh. And the reason why I didn't like it was because I really, really like the music from the original Doom games and think the music from, from New Doom is fucking terrible. So they would constantly tease me with samples of the old music that oh. I liked and then oh. just smear it in shit before throwing it out into the garbage again. Uh, like, when I heard samples of Knee Deep in the Dead, I was like, oh, yeah, and then it just pissed into the wind, just gone. I mean, this is the thing, this is one of those points I think we're going to heavily disagree on, because, like... Oh, yeah, I mean, totally, again, but at the same personal. time, I can't say, like, oh, the music is definitively shit, and you're an idiot for liking it. I can't say that, because, again, the music might be some of the greatest music ever written, it's just not my genre. Mm -hmm. Like, for it example, is. I don't like, I don't like, um... Well, I mean, if we're talking about genres of music, I don't like K-pop and I don't like rap that much. So, uh, yeah, I'm a huge it's just not my. Guy. That, that's my genre. So, yeah, like, that's just a, a personal. That's just a personal preference. Like, it's nothing yeah, to do no. with like. I'm not gonna say all oh, these. Like, I'm not gonna say Kanye West is a terrible like rapper or anything. It's just not my thing. Yeah. Um, there's one yeah, thing I'm... I want to bring up though. The the thing with Mick Gordon, he I I said this earlier when it comes to the gameplay, like Man, he actually is really on the thing about about the Resident 2 video. So <laughs> uh, just, ignore it, just ignore it, just ignore it, just ignore it. Anyway, so basically the the thing Mick Gordon said, I believe he mentioned that he designed all of the tracks in the game so that they could be used in a dynamic way. So that basically every time you glory killed an enemy, for example, 
there was a slight pause to it and the music would actually change uh in sp like the, the music would actually change to a different part of the track and he would do this so that you could have like a moment of calm for like not only visual for the glory kill but also resources and auditory feedback to say good job you killed this enemy so it sounds oh. like it used the music well like he did it very well yes yeah yeah from what i remember hearing it uh, did can either of you do either of you want to comment on the music itself whether or not it's good or bad or it's just a matter of taste because well i think objectively yeah, speaking it is that... very objectively speaking i mean my music is harder because like um it's only audio so like it's harder to say whether something is objectively good or bad when it comes to music i think i mean you can still mm -hmm. say oh you didn't you didn't do the you didn't play this instrument um... right sure but you know I can say it serves its purpose. Like, uh, there's like half half the soundtrack is you know ambient tracks, and the rest mm -hmm. is the iconic you know met you know combat music. Like, but nobody's gonna listen to like that the ambient half on its own unless I mean, they just some of the, the songs are written with like a flat. seven to ten string guitar. I think that's insane. Yeah, but yeah. I think when everyone mentions the soundtrack, I think they just mention. When everyone praises the soundtrack, they praise the combat music. It's mm -hmm. That's not the one. But here's the thing: even music. the even the ambient music is really good. But even that, like, it's good, but nobody remembers it. I remember it. Like some of it is well, I mean, some of it, like the main some menu of it, music, see. the main menu. The point is when you pause the game and the you point... just you're changing the options. That's yeah. it. So it sounds like it's well constructed and used well. It's just a matter of like Taste. Shuilin, you're to you it's just a matter like, of Like uh Shuilin, we got an example that someone that agreed with you. My dad, I showed him like one of the tracks, he just says, Iman, Iman, this is just noise. Why are you showing this to me? <laughs> like yeah, 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 so yeah, it's a fair criticism for people who don't like it, but you know. That's just... But then again, at that point, I can't even call it a criticism because it's like it's not like it does anything wrong. You can't criticize something for not being what you wanted yeah. it to be when it still does everything it meant to do right. It's a personal dislike, but I could not call it a criticism. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you could and you could criticize it, but I don't think either of you want to go into like details on musical composition. Like I don't know. Do that. That. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I know fuck all criticize. about musical composition. I'd have to yeah. talk to an actual musician. No, I don't yeah, know. That's, that's the point. That's the point. It's like I can only moderate that kind of thing so much is because it's such because musical composition is its own thing. These songs could be good, could be bad. It's it's almost impossible to tell. We can comment more reliably on whether or not it's used well, whether or not it's placed well, whether or not it's timed with the actions of the game, and mm -hmm. both the and we mentioned earlier the intro. It's extremely mentioned earlier actually the intro cinematic and the the E one M one remake ties into the way you cock the shotgun as you start the game. That's yeah. really nice. Yeah, the, yeah I recognize um, that. The tower sequence also apparently had a musical flourish. A musical flourishes to go along with it. No, no. I every the, every fight has like musical flourishes when yeah. you commit glory kills. That's how it works. I remember the I remember the boss fights also having really well choreographed. Um, oh yes. The characters act mm -hmm. to the boss's actions since the bosses were actually a lot more predictable. Oh, uh, the, one thing I want to point out. Oh, I just know. I just remembered something I want to point out. I saw it in Reykjavik's video. So in the very first level. Uh, the very first level of the game, the soundtrack is actually very restrained, if you ask me. Like, uh, it plays like a sort of... Um, uh, it's very low compared to the rest of the game. Like, it's just very... I have to actually pull up the audio to show you, but it's like a difference because in the beginning of the game, you are fighting against only three enemy types with two weapons. Whereas in Vega Core, which is the second to last level, you are fighting against every enemy type with all of your weapons. And it just Let me bring this up. Full, full, Let me just bring it up. I'll, I'll go show you the example and I'll play it. By Vega. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. God, I think we've been mm. here for nearly like three hours now. I'm sorry. I just, I just love discussing this kind of shit. It's fun. Oh, don't worry about it. I've, li I've got nowhere to be except bed once I'm done here. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I forget what the name of the I forget I wish I knew what the name of the song was in the beginning of the game when you're fighting only the first three name types. You know the one that just goes, do, 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 you know that one. Uh, don't ask me, mate. I've oh, rust, dust, and guts. Yeah, that's oh, that's it. Thank you, Elf. I listen to this shit when I sleep, man. Here's hoping we don't play it and get like a fucking copyright. No, no, it. Mick Gordon's really cool. He doesn't care. Yeah, but it might get auto flat. No, no, even auto, it doesn't happen. Awesome. No, no, Alright, so this is Russ Dutz and Gus. Musical, Listen musical. to some of this, um, and then compare it to like my like one of the most over the top songs, which is Vega Core. Alright, giving it a listen. Let me pull that up. I think while he's listening, I'll shout out the hot take. I think Dusk soundtrack is better than Doom 2016. Ooh, that's a take. <laughs> I'll have to play it to see. And then compare I, I, I timestamped it here. Compare it to this one. Like the like this is just so much more heavy than that one. And it shows like the progression. It's like an actual representation of you progressing in the game through the music. Uh oh, the lag. The what? Lag? What? Yeah, no, my system's just really lagging right now. Like here we compare this um, audience, compare this right here. You see how it's almost muffled? It seems very recessed. Like, you know, it's very, you know, like low compared to the rest of the soundtrack and then you compare that to when you have all of your weapons at the end of the game with all the enemy types and you get this You see, the difference between the two different Oops. tracks, you see, you actually, oh, well. it, it's an it's an interesting representation of the progression you have in, like, the game, and, like, I really like things like that. That's just me. What do you think, Shwilin? I... I don't even know where to fucking start. What? This is awful. Oh. <laughs> 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 no, it is industrial metal, uh, Gillian. It is very, very hard. It's too hard for me to even begin to, like... It's so hard, I can't even find what the fuck to groove to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just, like, pure... I, I, just can, like, see yeah, I can I, see the I can see the melody, the actual, like, beat to it. Yeah, I can see that, too. But I can't. Like, at the same time, I, I'm. Yeah, I, I can just, tell you there is there is a beat more like, melody to I follow. I feel like I'm more likely to point you up, to point you instead to Dusk soundtrack instead. <laughs> like <laughs> that bit in the fucking Vega core, right? When the beat drops, it mm -hmm. literally sounds like they hung the microphone up in the studio, uh -huh. had a heavyweight boxer come into the studio and train with it as a fast bag, and then the noise they recorded from that, they just cranked up the fucking gain to like 70 <laughs> yeah. out of 10 and then just called it a day it just sounds like yeah. noise to anyone, who knows, music to anyone who knows anything about this style of music is that accurate <laughs> honestly i bet if i got my mate in here who's got like a fucking college degree in like music theory or whatever he could come in and be like oh yeah this works into this and the composition of blah 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 but to me this just sounds like noise I, I can't yeah. find anything to sort of be like, yeah, that sounds that sounds great. It 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 just sounds like game. That, that's all I can describe it as. This sounds like what I would edit out of my fucking YouTube videos because it's a bad take that just ruins the audio quality. Well, I mean, again, personal preference, I guess. I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally personal preference. At least the, the thing I'm happy is that at least you acknowledge that it's more of a personal preference thing. Because if yeah, you yeah, said I, that, no, I, it's objectively bad, I would have some... I would have some debating there. No, no, not at all. It's it's music. I, I couldn't tell you left, right, fucking sideways, backwards, or upside down if this was good, bad, or anywhere in between. But if it were I upside down, know. backwards, and reversed. <laughs> I actually think that's how they fucking put the music together. But, like, <laughs> even still, it's straight up fine to like it because I don't know if it's bad or good. And if, if it fucking gets you go, you know, that's great. But for me, it just... 
it just doesn't it work. It's just not my kind of music. Yeah, fair enough. I'm trying to think of any like other video game soundtracks that I've been like, oh fuck yeah, that was awesome. Because I don't remember liking the New Order soundtrack that much because it was kind of similar. It was a lot of really oh, heavy guitars. Dusty's request. Yeah, a lot of lot of grimy, grungy machinery sound. And again, that was the point of it. And I, I guess it sounded great to whoever listened to it, but just wasn't for me. I'm trying to think. I really like the soundtrack from The Witcher Three. That. Really oh nice. damn oh, yeah that is so well stylized and fitting oh my god it's great oh, yeah, yeah. like uh, the fact oh, that it's all just polish folk songs is so good i am embarrassed to admit that i still have not <laughs> completely finished uh witcher 3 well that's fine you know take your time hey, but man, i think you should want to dusty's Ooh. request i am not bringing dusty in here tell him this is our where we are not driving divide diverting focus to talk about resident evil 2 okay this will be here all day if we do it. Fucking gaming tracks of the last generation. I feel like you should get Majima in here for that, because <laughs> it's not my. Oh, cool. Oh, here's another thing, um, uh, Shwilan. I think you might. I don't know if this will disappoint you or not. Mick Gordon also did the soundtrack for New Order. Yeah, hmm. I think I remember. Yes, him. he did. He did. Yep. He also did it for yeah. Prey, which is also that was pretty good. And he's doing music there. in that yeah. at all. There is music in Prey. Yes. I don't remember any of it. Hmm. That's that's fine. Yeah. I do. It's it's really good. But like um, oh uh, oh uh, Shwilan, slight slight tangent. My favorite track in Witcher Three has to be um, Steel for Humans. I love that. I love that. Mine track. has to be The Fields of Odd Skellig. Oh yeah, that one. It's just so somber and calming. I love it. It's absolutely brilliant. Mm -hmm. He also got the um. He also won the Game Award for Best Game Soundtrack at you know the Game Awards that year. So I think yeah, it was well deserved. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Um, but anyway, okay. So I guess we're done with the music now. We can go on to the next point. Yeah. Octor, I keep hearing myself in your um, in your. Yeah, Octor, you might need to deal. Yeah. With, we might need to deal with that. It's gotten worse. Apologies. All right. Can't you just use push to talk? Uh, actually, in his case, no. He doesn't have a push to talk capabilities. I, I, I could, I could, but I'm using my, uh, I'm using two computers at the same time because other computer is terrible for uh, Discord, and I'm playing a game, so I'll oh. just mute myself and unmute to talk. I mm. realistically, no, not no. He probably can't. Oh no, f in chat for our fallen war, fallen warrior. What happened? Oh, just making a joke about Octa not being able to use a. Uh... Push, push to, to talk. talk. Oh. oh, okay, okay. I'm the same. I That's mean... in the chat, guys. Man, Dusty really wants to get at you for like RE2. Like, um. He does. Every single person who has ever challenged me on the Resident Evil 2 stuff has been so angry about it. Like mm -hmm. to an unbelievable degree. Well, to be fair, degree. to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, I was really angry with you with the Doom video, so I can see if they're upset. Uh, yes, but <laughs> right. The Doom yeah, video. Yeah, but we also have more of an excuse. <laughs> and full of complete misinformation and just points that were wrong. The Resident Evil 2 video is possibly, when it comes to critical analysis, the most solid video I think I've ever done. Because it's 50 minutes, isn't it? Long man bad. 40 minutes long. There's pretty much nothing in there I've found. Well, there's a few bits and pieces of uh, factual incorrectness in regards to uh health specifics uh spawn rates difficulty levels just basic small stuff on the side that like oh you can move multiples of the bookcases instead of one at a time so you made that more difficult on yourself and resident evil zero already had this mechanic in it this wasn't the game that introduced it you got that wrong but aside from everything else I think it's all completely solid. Like, most of it is, I think it's bad because of these specific reasons, but they're not reasons like, it's all fucking rocks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're all <laughs> reasons like, one of the one of the things I brought up was, I didn't like the combat in it because enemies took way too many fucking shots to die, and a lot of people come up with the counter-argument of, oh, you, 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 you're playing the game wrong because you're not supposed to kill everything. You're supposed to shoot them in the legs and knock them over and I've run away. I've heard that from some people, but I don't yeah, know. It comes I've, heard the arguments of, I've heard the argument of, why didn't you memorize the level to figure out exactly where you have to learn to dodge zombies and you know their what? path? Yeah, I, I'm not kidding. That was actually a po that's actually a popular answer to this complaint on, complaint on the Steam forums. Yeah, 
yeah, yeah, but uh, where was wow. I? Uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. I mean, I also heard somebody bring up one time that, like, oh, uh, the reason that zombies have RNG health is so that you don't all just one-tap them. And I'm like, well, I mean, I don't know if that's How about you answer. just make sure they have health that's more than one health point? That's also true. I mean, if they gave them all, like, static health amounts, like, okay, four uh, oh, headshots apiece, you know, maybe. Uh, fucking... Oh, I've forgotten again, fuck's sakes. Mm. Come on, brain. Come on, brain. In regards work, to, brain, oh, you're not supposed to play it that way. You're supposed to play it this way. And the answer I always give to that is, if I wasn't supposed to play it this specific way, if the game wasn't designed to do it, it wouldn't let me do it. Yep. Mm -hmm. If I wasn't able, if I wasn't supposed to go on a genocide run and kill every single zombie in the area when I run into them, I wouldn't be able to. If I wasn't supposed to kill the zombies, they'd be immortal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Saying, you're doing this wrong and you need to do it this way because I am explaining why so many people's preferred way of playing the game can be seen as utter shit to a lot of people is not a defense of that method of playing. It's trying to placate and push the blame onto someone else instead of accepting, yeah, maybe it's not all that great, you know? Well, uh... Yeah, I see we're I'd back see. to another tangent. Um, Traylon, <laughs> I will say this about RE2, though. I did get it on sale. Uh, pretty cheap, mm -hmm. actually. So I'm gonna try it, see how it will see what I think. Uh, I'm probably... I the deluxe edition. No, 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 no. Just, just standard. Oh, no, I... oh I'm so no. sorry. I bought the like the fifty two quid edition of it because because of events that literally sound like they were straight out of a fucking cartoon that loads of people don't believe me actually. Oh, I mean Basically, like uh, Majima told me one time go I mean, on, I'm because <laughs> I told him I'm sorry because I told him I really like Dead Space. He said you might like this game, so I'm like eh, even with the criticism. So I don't know. Anyway, go ahead. Anyway, the story I was gonna tell. I was playing Battlefield One with mm -hmm. a friend. Like a year ago at this point and was like right i'm done i'm gonna go play something else so put the controller down fucked about on the internet for a while and then went oh i know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna play some south park the fucking fractured butthole on my pc so i get my ps4 controller and i plug the fucker in and use ds4 to you know make it work with uh you play whatever the fuck it was uh -huh. start playing the game play for a while and i get this notification on my phone that's like oh uh, withdrawal from your PayPal account, uh, to, to Sony America, 140 pounds. Huh? Like, fucking pardon? What? Excuse me? <laughs> what? what? Like, yeah, uh, two transactions to Sony of, uh, Britain or whatever, and it was like, oh, 70 quid and 70 quid, and I was like, fucking d n n nanny, what? So I'm panicking, <laughs> scrolling through all of this fucking shit, going, how has this happened? Who has charged me? I'm, like, nearly calling up my fucking bank. I'm trying to, like, deny the transaction. And I'm going back and forth, like, what the fuck has happened? So I t I'm like, what, what, have I been hacked? Has my PlayStation network been compromised? Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll fucking turn over the, uh, you know, the channel back to the PS4 and look at what happened. The PS4 is still on. Not only is the PS4 still on, the PS4 is hovering over the pre-order option for Battlefield 5. What had happened was I hadn't turned the PlayStation 4 off before going to use the controller to play the Fractured Butthole. And since DS4 <laughs> isn't native software that overrides the PS4's input, the control inputs I was using were working for both the console and the PC. Uh... So, by <laughs> some kind You're of supposed to hold the PS button and the options button at the same time to disconnect it. <laughs> for some trickster god, I'd scrolled over and selected the pre-order <laughs> option for Battlefield 5 to add 70 quid to my account twice... <laughs> And the uh... thing is, I hadn't pre-ordered the game. I was just sat there with 140 quid <laughs> in my PlayStation Network account. Because oh. Sony oh my God. That is... Oh, jeez. The law of your country to refund you the money will not allow you a refund of your PlayStation what Network funds. So I'm just stood here with 140 quid in my account. Like, fuck. what the fuck am I going to do? Wait, are they not... 
I, did they not offer a refund for that exact uh, like day, 24 hour no. refund for no, that no, exact No, no, not at all. Purpose? They don't have that. I just mentioned uh, they have a policy that unless the government comes to them, the government of your nation comes to them and says, give this person his money back, you don't get refunds. What the fuck? So I was wow. like, right, fuck it. What am I going to do? I'll, I'll spend it. That's, uh, that's the best it's going to get. So I pre ordered the Battlefield oh 5 God. Deluxe Edition. And the Resident Evil 2 Deluxe Edition. And both of those games were pieces of fucking shit. I Why did you so buy Battlefield 5? Good lord, man. Because it was about six months. It was literally about three days after the game had been announced. Oh. Like, this was before all the controversy had hit. This was before they fucking shat in the mouth of the player base with all of their ridiculous <sighs> statements. And I was just like, you're yeah, just uneducated. Fine. You're just uneducated. <laughs> yeah, basically. And I was like, great, I'll play the game because I, I like Battlefield. It's one of my favorite oh. you know, multiplayer franchises. So oh, I'm F in it. Sorry. F in the everybody put an F in the general VC text talk for um, Shui Len's enjoyment of Battlefield. Hell, oh, put an F in the stream. We already basically, have two right, Fs. I played a shitload of Battlefield 4 and was like, wow, this is fucking awesome. Then I played a shitload of Battlefield 1 and was like, oh my god, this is fucking terrible. And then I played a bunch of Battlefield 5 and was like, oh my god, this is even worse. Battlefield 1 was so much better. Well, I actually thought Battlefield 1 was pretty fun, but, you know, that was yeah, my Yeah, a lot friends, of the thing so... is, like, I'd sweated the shit out of Battlefield 4 when I first played it. Mm -hmm. So going from that straight to Battlefield 1, I was like, I can literally see all of the fucking flaws they've had with the changes they've made to this, and it's ruined the fucking franchise. Let's yeah, see, I mean, like, F. seriously, Battlefield 5's, here's like, F. like, you see, like, um, you know who Jack Frags is, right? Yeah, I've you heard You see, of like, before. his video, like, you talking about it sucks to be a Battlefield fan in, in uh, 2019. Dude, stop sucking mm -hmm. EA's dick and just say that they're shit! Yeah, yeah. Well, he can't, because he's, like, one of their fucking... No, because he's sponsored. Pillars. Because he's sponsored. He's literally in the pocket of DICE, the fucker. Yeah, in order to keep getting all of the behind-the-scenes content and be sort of, like, in with DICE and be able to say, well, the fan base likes this and this, so I think you should do this, he, he can't jeopardize that because he'll lose his man-on-the-inside quality. But not talking about Battlefield 5 ruining the series. I'm talking about Battlefield 1 ruining it because... Lord Almighty, they fucked Battlefield 1 to hell and back. And they did it to make it more accessible for newbies. Hmm. What hey, I've heard is just very boring. I feel like that's a discussion for, like, another time, but, like... I yes, mean, yes, exactly Again, when it comes to Battlefield, I mean, I thought it was fun and all, but, like, I didn't play that much of 4, so maybe that's why. Yeah, there's so many people is. like I spoke it. To, I spoke to Smiler AI in the other chat. Like, he thinks that the downfall of Battlefield started in, like, Bad Company, which is pretty ridiculous, but eh. Oh yeah, uh, he's actually kind of right because every subsequent Battlefield game has been a step down from Bad Company 2 in some way. Mm -hmm. I can, like, can understand. Going from Battlefield Bad Company, because Bad Company 2 had complete terrain destruction. Like, you could blow up every building on the map and just leave it with nothing and that was taken out for the later oh, Battlefield Maybe we games. should play Battlefield 4 sometime. That sounds like it'll be fun. I have it on PS4. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Damn it. Okay. Uh, fucking anything wish... else doom wise while we're here? All right. So like, uh, well, anyway, we were talking about another game. <laughs> yeah, we were before this turns into the fucking <laughs> Battlefield Four debate. Yeah, yeah, okay. So the, um, anyway, so the next thing I want to talk about, actually, now that we're done with music, um, can we talk about the? Well, I think Aleph mentioned enemy design earlier, way earlier. Um, yeah, I'm you have it. any? I I think the enemy design in Doom 2016 is pretty solid. I I feel like they did a good job of transfer translating the old designs from the classic game to like a more modernized version. What do you think? To be honest with you, I didn't really find them to be anything special. But that's mm. probably because I was just again not paying attention. Salad King has asked the question here: When did they reboot the Battlefield franchise? They didn't. The Battlefield franchise has not been rebooted. Uh, Battlefield just has retarded numbering. The They're first Battlefield going to. game is 1942, then 1943, then I believe 2142, then Battlefield 2, then Bad Company, Bad Company 2, 3, 4, 1, and 5. <laughs> Jesus. Man, that is... I think Until Final Fantasy is looking at that timeline going, 
Wait, we could have oh, fucked yeah. it up like this? Game. What about Battlefield Battle. Vietnam? Vietnam. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot about that one. I think that came in between 1943 and 2142. I might be wrong about that. All right. Um, yeah, okay. So uh, back to the... <laughs> I'm sorry if we keep going off on tangents. I don't want to like take away from what you're saying or anything. No worries, man. Okay, so one thing I had a point of contention. If you don't think they're anything special, that's fine. Uh, I want to tell you my, my favorite demon in the game is the Revenant. Mm. You familiar with that one? The reason is in terms of design, and that's because of like the way it's not only is the way it looks, but like the lore behind it, the little data slate you can find for it. I don't even know me? which one Revenant is. Revenant? It's this one right here. Uh, hold on. It's this chap the right skeleton, here. The skeleton. The It's this chap right over here. Oh, yeah, I know this, dude. Anyway, so the, the actual, like, I like the way it's designed, like, quite, I, I actually really, do, because if you look at the, the data slate for it, it says that the way that these things are created is, well, okay, first of all, not only is this thing, like, a great, Oh, hang like, on a minute, I just realized what the problem that Roach is complaining about is, it's me that's beeping. You? I'm not Yeah, it's been I'm not hearing anything. Time. Yeah, apparently it's only coming through audio for me and the stream. Every time I go on push to talk, it makes the connecting to call noise. Oh, I see. Really? I'm you can actually turn anything. that. You can actually turn that off. Can I? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Go to your user settings and. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's shit. it's been me this entire time. Let me make sure it's, it's in the down right on the notification section. Uh, no, Hold please. on. Try that again. Oh, uh, hang on. Yeah, text to, for here. text to speech notifications. No, nope, it's never. <coughs> yep. <sighs> oh, hang on a minute. Let me just do a quick fucking. Do a little bit of. What yeah, we I see the options here. Pro. It's under <laughs> um, notifications. I barely hear PTT it. activate and PTT it deactivate. It's in here. Yeah, I can't hear it okay, anymore. That's good. turned it off. There, problem solved. God, I was the villain all along. No, 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 no. It was me, guys. <laughs> Again. It was me, guys. Yeah, I didn't... I honestly didn't know it. Guys, guys. Did you hear me? Yeah, I heard you, but I bad. still didn't see it. That's the... It's only on my <laughs> end, so that's why it's coming through the stream. Right, yeah, the grappling's right. you, but the beep boop is me. It's been me <sighs> this entire time. I haven't heard either of these things. I turned on the stream sound just to see if I was nuts, but no, I'm I not have to, I have the stream unmuted. Anyway, I'm, uh, not, I'm it, sorry, I'm, I'm very new to stream. I'm not very good at streaming. Sorry, guys. No, no, it's fine. I didn't. I turned on the stream sound and still didn't hear it. So, um, okay. So anyway, back to the the revenant thing. So the revenant, uh, the, the actual lore behind it is pretty like. I like the, the way they actually tried to explain it. It's super metal. They what they do is they have a soldier they that volunteers for the program. Like they basically inject their bone marrow with these like nano machines, nano machines, oh. you know all that stuff. And they Insert meme here. and the um the way the then they blast these uh, nanobots can carry the argent um energy um they can carry the argent energy signal throughout through themselves so mm -hmm. then they blast the soldier with the argent energy and this causes the um bone de the bone of the subject to increase by 300 percent. this causes like the skeleton to literally burst from their body <laughs> making them like way taller than a normal person and then they also attach a metal frame to their body to keep themselves like from collapsing because you know most of the muscle is gone and then they strap the jetpack to them with the two rocket launchers and like at the same time in the game you can see as they're attacking you you can see them like grab their heads and scream it's like they're in horrible pain as they're trying to kill you damn aside from stapling a rocket pack to them what the fuck does that achieve it's the U dude, know. it's the UAC. They're an evil corporation. In fairness, I could actually, in fairness, I could actually see it being used as effectively a human experiment to just test. No, they have they have microchips in the back of their heads that they were intending to use to control them. Like you know, it, it, yeah, it's not just it could be a soldier program, but it could also be what could we do to make our soldiers stronger purely for their own sake. This doesn't feel like turning them into super soldiers. This feels like a sadistic torture failure of an experiment. Well, where, it feels like, like it feels like 
Captain well, it America. kind of is, and then the hell. Well, it kind of is. Melted and then the his, his his flesh off his body, snapped his bones, and made him unable to walk. And then went perfect success. Staple a gun uh, to him. Can I, can I interject here for a moment? Shoot, uh, I, got, I sure. gotta get off. You gotta get off. Right. See you around. See you around. Right. See you after. Uh, it's it could also strike to me oh, as God. just a part of a greater experiment. Like they wanted to test one thing, like muscular like muscle editation or just to see what would happen it, it makes sense to someone who because you know we have ethical review boards that says no you can't just throw ardent energy at a human being and see what will happen because well yes to you life may be cheap but to that hold person, my life, life, <laughs> life is not yeah, but cheap the... but to these people who don't give two fucks about human life they could throw lives Fuck. away in the most mundane experiments, and they could just go, you know, we want to see what would happen if we threw art and energy at a human body for effectively just to see what would it's happen. It's effectively like, similar we'll to, like, radiation bodies. exposure, Plushy. It's just horrible. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's, a, it's purely a moral science. I straight up think that's legit how the Nazis did most of their <laughs> That That is yeah. not... Well, that I does explain all of those that. weird constructs you fight in Wolfenstein. I mean, yeah, I, it's I not even totally so much that. that. Like, realistically, what they did when the Nazis had the concentration camps, from what I remember, there were just so many questions the Nazis had, like, what happens when the human body is exposed to this? Well, we've got some subjects. Let's fucking find out. What, yeah. What's the inside of a pregnant woman's stomach look like at this specific time? Well, let's get a pregnant Jew lady in here, cut her the fuck open, and see what it looks <sighs> like on the inside. Jesus. Yeah, no, he's not wrong. That is literally something that happened. Oh, that's horrible. They, they yeah. tried to create, like, a coagulation pill to stop soldiers from bleeding out. And mm -hmm. what they used to do was, they would just get Jewish prisoners in from the concentration camps, stick a coagulation pill, or the, the, the pill, you know, so to speak, the, the design down the throat, and then just fucking maim them by cutting a limb off. By the way, uh... Watching them bleed... And seeing if the pill worked on it, and if it didn't, they died. And unsurprisingly, it never fucking worked. Yeah, and it's not like it, it's not like they picked the Jews specifically. They would just pick anybody from the camps, and by Anyone God, the amount of people in there. Because they had people there. And do you want to know yeah. what the most absolutely fucked up thing about this entire situation is? It was... Yeah, oh, because of the Nazis, emotion. we know what temperature the human body stops working. Oh, God. Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. Straight up, one hundred percent. The the research that the Nazis did has been some of the most scientifically valuable research done for the understanding of the human body in the mm, past two hundred. years. It's so years. fucking horrible, though. It is. Yeah. Without yeah. the Nazi experiments on pregnant women during you know the pregnancy period, we wouldn't know how most of that stuff worked. But now we do because of them. By the way, they're not alone in that either. As sad as it is, they are not alone in that. They're, I believe, Japanese experiments also had the, yes. also had this unit seven three one. The moral yeah. of the story is that human rights get in the way of progression. Jeez. Yeah. yeah that's why we don't clone people. There's an. I just read an SC, uh, an SCP, which the whole function was, uh, someone created effectively humans that would do exactly that. But it's like their whole shtick was they would absolutely and not just sacrifice each other for this exact purpose. Like the subjects would willingly do it. Mm -hmm. And their technology advanced incredibly fast. To the point where even the researchers are like, holy shit, how are they coming this impressively? And then one guy found out what was being done inside the temple that was built for them and went, uh, let's not talk about what, let's not ever talk about what happened in there ever again. <laughs> ever. But yeah, it's Tangent. the idea, it, it's it's the reason why, um, if I remember correctly, it's the reason why uh, the Skaven are as advanced as they are in Warhammer. Because they also do Skaven not give Skaven Clan two, Mulder, specifically? Yeah, they don't give two fucks about who they, who they, Oh yeah, uh, Skaven slaves are expendable. Like oh, to an yeah. absurd to an absurd degree. Yep. Anyway, yeah, uh, we were talking about a game. 
<laughs> before we got on to the fucking war crimes of the SS. Mm -hmm. but I will agree with you though, Shwelen. Like this is absolutely this is just like the most horrifying. What if we did this horrible experiment to a person? It's totally and then immoral. Stuck a gun on it. Yes, like it's like literally. There's a line in the game that like just reminds you of how over the top absurd the UAC is, where this this announcer just says. Wep weaponizing demons for a brighter tomorrow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh god, I still remember that. I still remember that recording of me just going. How does any? D d how did anyone who ever? If you have any questions company... about weaponizing the demons, please contact Gloria and Human Resources. <laughs> yeah, I I'm just sitting here. <laughs> also, going... don't forget to fill out your Mame insurance <laughs> policy card. <laughs> Don't forget don't forget that your lives that your lives are in our hands for a greater tomorrow. Okay, so there was a big um one thing about another design of the enemies. I just want to bring up examples of ones that I think are done really well compared to ones in like Doom 3 that are like poor. Because the divergence of design in Doom 3 was so drastic, if you know what I mean. Like it just yeah, yeah. diverged so much from the original designs that I just did not like it. Uh compare that like look here's a clear example. This is the Kako Demon in Doom 3. This is the Kako Demon in Doom 2016, right here. Like, seriously, what the hell is this supposed to be up here? What, what the hell? Like, no, this is what, what a Kako Demon hell? should look like. What the fuck? What is I that? don't even fucking know. Like, what were they thinking? What is this? Mm hmm. Look at this, like it's brain exposed, it has six eyes, it has, still has the big mouth, sure, it has like a claw underneath it. Like, what, what is this? The only thing I can think of is that they wanted to go for a more subtle horror theme for- Which I mean, Doom was a- Doom 3 was made as like a horror game for like the first half, Which so was guess. a fucking mistake. Mm -hmm. Let me give you another yeah. example, the pinky in Doom 3. Are you trying to- Oh yeah! A good doggo. The dog looking oh, just, one. Just, no, no. Th those words. Don't speak them. What? what? Let me get it. Hold on. Dog pinkies? Yeah, let me, let me just show yeah. you. Oh. So this is the pinky in Doom I 3. Sense pain. Yeah, the fun. Here's the fun thing about the, the pinky's face in Doom 3. Apparently, they have to eat their own faces just to breathe. <laughs> and then this bored. is the pinky in Doom 2016. <laughs> Uh, and it's based on the old Pinky. Like it looks so much more like a yeah, like an actual I, I, I rendition the of the classic tale. Pinky in a more realistic way. It has armor plating all over it to make the way it works in the game actually make sense. This in the here, this just looks like the fucking dog things from Half Life One that shoot sound at you. Like what is this? They are. Legit. I do not come. No. They what are you saying, Shwelen? Trying to make these. They are trying to make these horror creatures. Mm -hmm. Like that's that's what the the idea behind Pinky is being disturbing, whereas the idea behind Pinky in, like, 2016 is looking fucking cool. Well, that's the thing. A lot of the... a lot. Of, I'll, I'll firmly agree with this. Doom is supposed to look like a, a metal album cover, okay? It's supposed to look like a metal album cover with the demons, okay? It's supposed you don't to look awesome. do Doom and try Have to make it fucking night, restrained Fred. and subtle. Mm-hmm. I got another oh one for God. you. Majima and I had a big back and forth about this one. The Lost Soul in Doom 3. Look at this. Like, what is this supposed to be? Roach says that these are supposed, that a lot of the stuff from Doom Whereas the Doom, the Doom, Doom 2016 3. Lost Soul. This is what a Lost Soul should look like. Not that Again, trick. the Doom hey, 3 only... version is well, trying to be scary Roach... and Hang on, let me. Uh, I don't know what. In the... Ruff, I don't know what you're seeing, but the, none of these things look anything like each other. Yeah, they don't look similar at all. The only one that they are close is, is the, the Hell Knight, which is, is the, the only Hel design yeah, I like. Let me and, bring and that the thing up. About, the thing about those lost souls is that they're, they're fine as their own enemies, these giant distorted faces, See? but they're not accurate to the very concept that is a lost soul. It's not a wandering soul of just want and, of just want and destruction. It it looks like it's something more, you know, a human experiment, fitting for its own theme, but it's not a representation of what like a lost uh, what soul I would like, plushie. They could have like a 
maybe if they had different enemies, like there was a cyber lost soul where they tried to make a mechanical version of a lost soul and it, that's what it is. Yeah. Like that would be fine, but don't make only one or the other. There needs to be a lost soul that looks like a skull, skull that is on fire with giant horns. That is what a lost soul is. That is what it is meant to be. Like, I just cannot fathom how Majima can tell me this looks better. I, I don't, I don't, I'm sorry, yeah, for I the same job, for the genre of game that Doom 2016 is, I don't see how this can look better than this. I don't. Uh, Shwiland, what do you think? You're completely right. All of the, the Doom 2016 designs just look so Now, the only one I'll say, like this one right here, the Hell Knight, which I really like, uh, this is like a transition from it in Doom 3, which this is the one I actually think is pretty good in Doom 3. And because in the classic Doom, the Hell Knight was just a reskin of the Baron of Hell, but it was brown. Uh, brown yeah. oxal and uh basically <laughs> they they oh, wow. modernized it for doom 2016 <laughs> and they kept the design it was like a nice little reference to doom 3 and i like that as well the fucking the, the hell the 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 hell knights remind me so much of the elites from hail or alien nah, like the xenomorph no nah, not a xenomorph the head the, the head mainly they're way too uh, kind of, yeah, but I definitely see elites in them more than I see Xenomorphs. Oh, yeah, because of the double-jointed legs. Yep, definitely see it. Not so much the double-jointed legs. It's just, like, the way their feet look and the way they stand around and the way they move. Mm -hmm. the, introdu guess, yeah. the introduction to, like, the Hell Knight in Doom 2016, I think, is also pretty good. Like, basically, like, there's a little hologram. This dude, literally, he's working on the controls. The Hell Knight just grabs him and rips him in half, like, at the, at the torso. And then he just grabs this other Jesus. guy, uh, like, grabs this other guy by the neck, snaps it. He chokes to death, and then he walks away with him in his hand. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty fucking brutal. I yeah, I can definitely see why it. he did that, actually. My guess, no, the demons just want to kill everything, my guess. Yeah, but I'm confused as to why he took him with him. Uh, food, my guess. That's the only thing I can think of. Just literally just food. That That's all. Or, 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 he took part of his body to add to the gore nest. Who knows? Hmm, maybe. Because that's what the demons want to do. They want to open a large enough portal to summon enough demons in, which they eventually do. But that's thanks to Olivia Pierce and, uh, yeah, that's later. Mm. Oh, uh, oh another one I want to bring up. The Mancubus in Doom 3. Like, like uh, let me just bring it up. Hold on. Like, literally, it just looks like the one from Doom 2, but with uh, Cthulhu tentacles. Like, I don't see how people, like, say that this is so unique and special. Oh, Jesus. Honestly, the one in like, Doom 2016 uh, is much better. Oh, God. Like, the look at this. Poly, the low poly textures on the feet. Holy shit. It's not like the face is much better. I like the face, but it's not the demon's face. It's more like a Cthulhu face. Indeed. And, and uh, it's, uh, it, its pale texture isn't exactly intimidating. Now we compare okay, this guys, to the Doom 2016 Mancubus, right? I'm going to be completely honest with you. I, I, I looked at the Doom 3 Mancubus and saw it as an elephant trunk with tusks. <laughs> yeah, that's also not, that's also You're not wrong. wrong. It's just a big elephant with guns. That's. <laughs> Look at the feet. Those are elephant feet. You're mm -hmm. not wrong. Yeah, the Doom 2016 one looks so much better like it looks so fucking cool and like they also try to give a lore for a thing for it too it has like instead of arms it has a chitinous growth over both of its hands that it you that it like uses for its weapons and the weapons are like a biomechanical flame thrower of such and like these things also according to the lore at least they smell horrible because they're all decomposed and nasty on the inside like it's, it's so cool lovely and literally, like, when you kill them, like, my this one has my favorite glory kill in the game. You jump onto its chest, you rip out the heart cavity, you stick it into its throat, and it just explodes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it just, its intestines and guts and blood go everywhere. It's, um, I just love it so much. Nothing creative about that whatsoever. Very cheap glory kills right off of the Unity store. <laughs> Oh, uh, Flushy, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> hey. I'm sorry, Shrilla. I'd say I direct that more to the I, I direct that more to the YouTube commenters who are like, glory kills are the worst thing ever. They're just glorified QTEs. I direct that more to them. Which is not true. They aren't QTEs. They're just a button. Okay. I don't like, know what the ROEs are. 
Like, what? Fucking, that, oh, that finisher moves. Their finisher moves really like good. in Mortal Imagine. Kombat, just instead of being a combo, it's just one button. Like, what gives? What's who cares? Finisher moves and anything. That's like saying a fucking stealth takedown is a quick time event. Yes, exactly. A stealth takedown is probably a quick time event. Like, you can take it even farther. The button. Like, you press a button in Half-Life to open a door. That's a quick time event now. Fucking <laughs> start button. That's you press the button moment. to finish the puzzle in Portal. That's a quick time event now. Look, look, guys, that that battle you played in an RPG, all you did was press buttons over and over, and you Just didn't actually move your event. characters or do anything. That's a quick time. Oh, event. found it. Here it is. Slow mo, too. Lovely. But yeah, it's certainly not a quick time event. Like, literally, it's like its head and its spinal event. column are still attached. It's so fucking brutal. <gasps> My stomach hurts now. <laughs> Yeah, this is like, it just looks so awesome. I want to go, man, if this makes your stomach hurt, never read Berserk. Oh yeah, it can get pretty nasty in Berserk. Also, guys, read Berserk. Berserk is amazing. Or read any SCPs okay. that are very gory, like the flesh that hates. Mostly Berserk. Joe, yeah, funny yeah. thing is, I'm not really, like, I, I'm not really all that fussed about gore. It doesn't really do anything to me. Yeah, yeah. It's... We'll see how long that lasts after you read <laughs> Berserk. <laughs> okay, then... <laughs> Just fucking call you on Discord next time for like the inner sanctum of fucking after you mental. S after you see horse face. Oh no. Um, <laughs> oh, I want to bring up one other thing. Um, like, uh, just want the last enemy I want to go over. Well, I mean, actually, I actually want to go over this and then the cyber demon, but and the spider mastermind maybe. But like the Baron of Hell, I think is like a perfect like perfect one-to-one -one transition from its original design to a more modernized design. And yes, me. dude, I yeah. have actually seen the new chapters. Yeah, this to me, I think looks. Fucking stellar. You know, I don't actually which, remember them which wearing makes me... armor. It's sort of grown into them, but I, this I, I liked it so much. I liked it so why... much I made my own scale model. I like these things. As a note for the point, we can we can agree that these are really interesting, diverse designs, whether for diverse designs that all have a lot of just ideas behind them and really good world building. Mm hmm shame, but, but it's so far it seems to be the to thing we're getting it. to. 3D print of this was nice. It turned out pretty good. Yeah, it does look really, really nice. Now there is the there is the thing Dusty brought up. Would anyone like to take the case that they're uh, spread very poorly? That at the end they just stop introducing new enemies. Uh, that's that's the point I made like at the very beginning when they came in. Say it again? Would anyone uh, like to take on the case that they're positioned or used improperly? Which enemy? Uh, no. Position. Well, no. All enemies. It's more like. Wait, which enemy are we talking like, about? No, no in general. Particular. Hang on. Oh, just yeah, one no, enemy I, in particular? I would say lost souls are not very common. Well, well, they're the worst because they just like charge at you and that's about it. And the but fact that they're adding the pain element that, that literally can just puke them up. Ooh, that's going to be tough. Yeah, well, yeah, but no, I, I think uh, I think they just like they ran out. Uh, I think this is why they said in for Doom Eternal, you're going to have new enemies all the way up until the end. Is that like like by the end of 2016, you've like you've seen all the enemies, you know, so it's it sort of gets samey by the end there. Like there's like if they if they save the Baron of Hell for like the for like Titan's Realm or Necropolis instead of the last. Cadenger Sanctum, Sanctum is Sanctum, the first one. Yeah, I know, I know they're introduced there, but like I feel like you know, given their status as one of the strongest, you know, enemies in the game, I feel like they should have been saved. They should have been introduced, been introduced like. In later Can we talk about the fact that they said. kept the infighting in? Oh, yeah, From sure. the classic game, they kept the infighting between the demons in. You can see them fighting often. And you can actually yeah. use that to your advantage if you want to. If if another if one demon hits another, you can actually yeah. have them fight. I, I don't often manage to get them to do that. Well, mm -hmm. at least among the bigger ones, because because their projectiles are smaller and they're moving around so much. But it's a lot more common between smaller demons. Especially Caleb just like... has just made an exceptional point here about the biggest problem with the Lost Souls was the fact that most times they showed up was during platforming sessions. Uh-huh. They, oh, yeah, they, yeah, they yeah, did that's... show up sometimes during that, like when you, in the first time you encounter them, they will show up in a big swarm, like when you're jumping onto this little uh, floating rock there, and like four Ooh. of them will appear in front of you. Yeah, that can happen sometimes. Is there a... What, what the crap? What was wrong? There's a zombie Pikmin in my farm. Kill it. 
How'd it get uh, here? Did you pull it up I don't and know. Up? Oh, right. Lightning can turn. Hi, Killian. Uh, well, thank you for joining us. Hello. Uh, Hello. Killian has been giving me lots of nice little tidbits of information. He's been very helpful. So, uh, I'm going to have. Anyway, oh, that'd be nice yeah, to have but yeah, Caleb is right. They when they did tend to appear, there was a lot of platforming tech that just popped in, and it was not a good thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I still think it's good that they kept them in as like the suicidal exploding enemy. It's fine. Well, it's they better were... than what they used, than how they started out, where you, they don't explode at all. They just charge at you, back away, and then charge at you again. Mm -hmm. Plus, yeah, showed they you the video of the speedruns over the chasm. Now, I hope in Doom 2016 you can actually use them to your advantage. What if, Aleph, you could actually okay. grab one with with Berserk? What if you could grab one out of the air and just throw it back at the enemy? That'd be awesome. What if its glory it kill do. instead was like you just throw it wherever you're looking? Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, I would love that. They don't have a glory kill because they explode. They impact. explode. But in the next game, I'm hoping we do run that. and we explode. Yeah, why not have it that you can just, if you time it right, you can grab them in midair and just. Yeah, that's what I hope they do. The that's ground. what I hope they do with uh, Doom Doom Eternal. They should definitely do that, especially with the fact that it'll be so much more prevalent with the pain elementas. I saw some battle mode uh, gameplay, and I'm think at least in that game mode, you can't grapple the Lost Souls. They're like the cannon that the Pain Elemental uses against the Doom Slayer player. So mm -hmm. you can't hit, but you can explode yeah, and hit it. Projectiles. So you That's can cool. throw them back. That's awesome. Great. Or at least there's potential to throw them back. It will be somewhat disappointing if they don't include them. Include that there's in not the, a you know, segment game where proper. Doom guy kills something by like doing a fucking like rugby football boot of one of them just like over something and blowing it up i'm gonna be disappointed well i mean there is one glory kill you can have where you throw a dude against the wall and you'll just knee his head in you'll just kneecap him oh yeah i know that that's a very rare yeah, one but I... you have to be against next to a surface you literally like you pick him up with both hands you throw him against the wall and you just kick his face in you can do this to imps and soldiers jesus Oh, and also the fact that they implemented the blade in Doom Eternal. Oh man, the glory kill variation is gonna go through the roof, man. With some of the blade, with some of the blade animations, oh, it's so. Some brutal. of the ones I've seen with the blade animations, they linger on them for just enough time yeah, to I make think, you go, uh, oh, yeah, stab. Ooh. Yeah, I like the one where like uh, it just like instead of like it just it grabs the soldier and then he just sticks it right through his mouth into his head and pulls it back out like this. Yep. It's really quick, real. It's real quick and just like just like. Bam, dead. It, it's like they they implemented the savagery rune straight into just a mechanic. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Okay, so I think we're gonna... I think Shwilan agrees with me on the enemy design, then. It's much better than its predecessor. Oh, yeah. All very varied, all very unique. Can't really look at many enemies in Doom 2016 and go, ugh, another one of these things I've seen a thousand times in other The only place. ones I can say are generic would be the possessed because, well, they're just zombies. They're really the only one I would say is anything yeah, else, but they're generic. Is is the hell baron itself. And, and so because it's just a big red goat demon. As we mentioned, that may very well be intentional, so there's only so much you can complain about. Oh yeah, they're clearly they're supposed chaff. to resemble Satan. They're literally Satan. just chaff. Oh wait, you're talking about the Barons of Hell. Yeah, yeah. The Barons of Hell, yeah. They are mentioned big, to be goat. Satan's guards, literally. That's yeah, what they're it doesn't surprise called. me. That's what and, they look uh, like they're meant to be. Based on the biology of Hell, we know. I'm guessing the first, like, the, the base, um, the only creature that is native to the Hell dimension would be the Barons. Everything else was brought in through the dimensional invasions, I guess. Which is interesting to think about. It must have been really fucking boring. Well, them and the Hell Knights, they're like, they're like relatives. I can't imagine it's... Hell as a place that's supposed to be particularly exciting. Just a, just a thought Are you there. kidding me? Hell's meant to be like a fucking 24-7 party. A party of torture? Yeah, I mean, the <laughs> read, the, the read, the read the codex, they have like gladiator matches. They, they hold gladiator matches using Hell Knights. Yeah. Just for, ent just for entertainment. It's metal as fuck. The I Baron, like the literally, the character. hell, the Baron, it says, the Barons of Hell train the Hell Knights. It's so cool and weird at the same time. <laughs> it's an interesting to think about. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm fanboying a bit. Sorry. But I think that, I think that's part of why they added the uh, Shui Land. I think that's part of why they added f oh, the uh, Shui Land. The gift the of what I mentioned is in the live chat right now. Yeah, I've pulled this this off before, and like the first time it happened, I was like, "What am I? Do oh my god!" 
Oh, they added a new one for the Kako Demon in Doom Eternal. He literally pulls the eye out with the socket still attached. Oh, God, it's so nasty. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen that one. Yeah, it was in, the, was uh, it was in the gameplay that Quake. they did at Gamescom. Or, or I'm sorry, QuakeCon. QuakeCon, sorry. Yeah, I've seen that. It's, it's brutal. Fucked. Yeah, like some of them are like, uh, I just, oh, well, then you can get to the chainsaw, although I don't know if people think those are, I think those are pretty fucking brutal. Do we have a next pre-plan point, or are we going to continue oh, yeah, talking yeah. about okay, the okay. So, um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. So the next thing I want to actually go to, um, is more the, uh, I want to talk about the actual guns themselves, because as we all know, the, I think, um, we can agree on, like, the video games cause actually, violence, yes. yeah, yes, video games cause violence, and there needs to be gun control and doom so that they can not protect themselves right back, from the I'm demons. Get some water. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's so. That's very um, inappropriate. I would. Sorry. That's gonna be a joke about that. Yes. Yes. Anyway. Um. So, what do you think of the gun play, Sri Lanka? We want. I mainly want to talk about like the different weapons and if you think they are use usable, and then we can talk about the attachments. You know. Gun design is fucking awesome. There's not a single gun in the game besides the pistol. I looked at and went, yeah, this is pretty worthless. Uh, I did learn from somebody else telling me this, I think it might have been Jabber, that each weapon has a specific demon it does the best against. Uh-huh, yeah, I can see that. Uh, like, I extent. think he said that there's a little quote-unquote hint about them, and that a lot of times when you pick up a new weapon, you'll be attacked by the specific type of demon that it's weak to, or it's strong against. I'm not too sure about that, though. Um, it's not 100%. I mean, you can kill every demon with every type of weapon if you really want to. It's just, like, some are more preferable. Like, for example, the summoner yeah, is a yeah. teleporting, hell wave rising, like, really annoying summoning demon. And, uh, yeah, the rock, the lock-on rocket and the Gauss cannon are very useful against it because of how quick it moves. That's, an, that's one example. Uh, yeah, Another yeah. one would be the Kako demon is also really useful if you want to use the rocket launcher because, like, it's such a big target. You say big boy. I hate the fact that when those things go into Every the glory times. kill position, they don't fucking lower themselves. To... Mm -hmm. I, I can kind of see why you don't like that. Well, yeah. they can kind of that. Why getting Although, the yeah, for the most part, they don't stay too high off the ground. Like I went to go and glory kill one of them while it was flying over the edge of a death drop, and I was like, oh. Doom Guy's gonna jump back to where he jumped out from, right? Nope. No. I just fell like a fucking now rock. there is a now if you are annoyed about that i mean there is a rune for that but i don't think it really fixes anything and another one, one like... of my favorite things about the death animations in doom 2016 no. it's like you just fall 10 feet and explode <laughs> yeah some of those are funny <laughs> you just explode into oblivion like it just just, mm -hmm. just fall to pieces that's kind of that's just over the top hilarious look your anger is very volatile mm -hmm. that's what happens all that anger built up inside just explodes <laughs> well, there is the Titan Realm Fall that is around 200 meters, and it says impact compensation, you receive no damage. Neat. But it's mm -hmm. explode. Um, what about um favorite weapon? Do you have a favorite? Uh, plasma rifle. Plasma rifle? Mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> now, uh, I like that. I like using the stun lock on that one, the stun grenade, a lot. I now, I also the, uh, had Majima tell me the Heat Blast is also very good, very useful. It's food for yeah, crowd control, he mentioned. Fun. Now, uh, the thing about it is, uh, both of them, I feel, are viable. They're not, not One is not useless, the other isn't useless either. Like, I feel like you can both use them effectively. What I like about the uh, stun grenade, you can actually use the stun grenade um, not only in the base form, like where it just stuns one, but you can actually upgrade it and then get the mastery where if you stun one demon, then you kill that demon. When it dies, it any demons stuns, near yeah. it will chain stun. And then you kill any of those, and those can chain stun. You kill any of those, it's just, it's the, it can be very useful Jesus. if you know how to use it properly. Like, you can kill a large group of demons but with that, and it like gives you a little bit of breathing space. Now, the, the stun is not too long to make it seem ridiculous, but like it's still long enough that you can, you know, compose yourself. I think the heat, the, 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 the heat exhaust one was the one that I used religiously, and I actually underestimated how far the range on that thing goes and mm -hmm. how high a damage it does. You can my kill Hell Knights in one the, hit on full charge. Oh yeah, the reason why the plasma rifle was my favorite was because the sound design for it was great. The rate of fire was fucking perfect, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the the damage on it was. I used it like whenever I had the chance to. I default to the shotgun. 
And then whenever that started running low, it was straight to the fucking plasma rifle mm -hmm. to just make people explode. Yep. I like the way that, like, um, it's more of, like, because of the rate of fire it has, you can actually see it when you shoot an enemy, like, just empty a, a whole lot of rounds of them. Like, literally, they just rip apart from the amount of plasma going into them. They just rip it's apart. Noisy. Which is a nice detail, if you ask me. I, I was Guys, actually so jazzed they're bringing rifle. back the original plasma rifle. Yeah, design. I saw that. It's like a class. It's like the same one as the original. Like they just modernized it. It's awesome. Can I say something about the the plasma rifle in twenty sixteen? Sure, sure, sure. Uh, if you read the Codex entry, there is a section that says all about the whole mechanism of plasma, and it even mentions a patent. If you Google that patent, it's actually a plasma rifle patent made by DARPA. There is people in NASA researching an actual plasma rifle, and that's oh, why they. Oh, that's <laughs> so! Wow. Oh, that's hilariously awesome. Oh, that's cool. Space Force, baby. Well, plasma is literally just superheated gas, so yeah. I mean, I can see. I mean, literally, blasters in Star Wars work with superheated gas too, so you know. Although, uh, yeah, that's um. Just one weapon the but I will say it's not a bad weapon actually. The people that say like it's useless, I feel like they're. It's not, I mean, it's not true. It is a useful weapon. I think the reason me. a lot of people don't like uh, the plasma rifle is because it isn't as violent as a lot of the other ones are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the Gauss cannon. Like, you can, yeah, yeah. can just shoot limbs off. I think that's so awesome. Yeah, it's very smooth. It's it's not very loud. It's not very like aggressive. It doesn't feel like you're chunking somebody with it like you are with pretty much every other weapon in the game. Now, um, uh, another weapon I think is really um, for sound. I think one of the best sounding guns is the assault rifle. Like, the punch of the shots yeah. is so good. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, it was fucking great. I really, really like the assault rifle as like, well. Like, it literally, it fires 30 millimeter BMGs, and there's just so much weight to it. I love the sound of it. 30? Yeah. It says so the codex entries. Is it 30 or 50? I'm pretty sure it's 30. I could say it was 50, and it's... Uh, it oh, if it's 50, that's just really point. powerful. I think it's called, like, a heavy assault rifle, so it might be mm -hmm. 50. I, it might I be think 50s. there is a, an inconsistency about that. In the entry, it says the heavy rifle fires 50 BMG, but I think uh, the chain gun fires 20. That's why the fire rate is different, but they pull from the same ammo in the game files, so mm -hmm. Hmm. it would be technically both firing 50. I think the reason they did that is because they always did that in the older game. Yeah, it would be weird sharing to ammo. Yeah, different types of ammo. Games worthless, zero out of ten. <laughs> uh, also, uh, the plasma rifle has a fire rate of thirty, of twelve hundred rounds per minute, while the chain gun, without any mods, has a fire rate that. of nine. Just sounds so punchy. Listen to this chat. I ain't getting it. I ain't getting entirely tired. Might be time for bed soon. Oh my god, I just got reminded of my fucking least favorite enemy in the entire game. Oh, is it the shield dudes? Oh, it's the fucking cunts with the shield. Oh yes, the oh, riot uh, shield, yes. the, the, the security soldiers. Yes, I can agree, mm -hmm. they can be annoying, but there's a purpose to them. They, 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 I think they're viable in the game. I don't think they're like a bad enemy. My biggest problem with them is they get their shield back to... Oh, yeah, they can regenerate the shield. Yeah. Um, one thing, I don't know if you know this. You can actually you can actually kill them instantly with the with the Gauss Cannon. Like, the Gauss Cannon will just straight up ignore their shield, even if it's not charged up, which is a nice thing to think about. I think one thing I did once was I lost my shit with one of them and just pulled out the BFG on it. <laughs> <laughs> just like, just like, wow. he just like pulls I, out the BFG and he's just like, so fuck fucking you! Done with <laughs> Nothing personal, kid. Just him approaching the Doom Slayer, like and the Doom Slayer just whacks out the fucking I BFG, and the like, security office is just like, mm. this has turned into a difficult situation. Oh, there's oh, one I, point in the game. I in, found uh, a dedicated believe, meme um... rendition of this event. <laughs> Uh, oh, there's one, oh, yeah, the, um, um, one point in the um one point uh Shuilan. There's actually a point in the Lazarus facility in the last arena where four of them will come at you, one from each corner. That that can that could be annoying. 
Oh, that's um, oh shit. Yes. So yeah, they. But um, what I'm picturing right now, uh, Aleph, if you watch the 24 hour EFAP, it's literally um like the where, where Southpaw went ape shit over um Brown Table. That's what I'm picturing. Schwelin was doing. I He's th- just like straight up. I fuck think you. That- <laughs> to shoot him with the PFG. I think I fell asleep through that part of the 24 hour. Yeah, there's, it's just like. Just like pure yeah. adulterated, I give no fucks. Eat, eat the most powerful weapon in the game. Like fucking snakes on a plane where Samuel L. Jackson's like, I've had it with these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, so I will say, I often use the BFG ammo if I have an extra one. I use them on the Cyber Mancubus because, by God, they are so tanky. They have so much HP. They have more than the Baron of Hell, even. They are very yeah. strong. Is the it's coming at least a slow, so I don't, I don't, eh, I don't waste dude, that, dude, that secondary I don't. fire they have where they just turn the ground to lava. Oh. They're not this much of a problem for me because they're slow. At mm-hmm, least the I Baron, guess that's true. The, the Baron moves around faster. Yes, yes, but I'm saying it has, more, ha- it has more HP than the Baron even. Eh, a few blasts of exhaust. Like literally, one time. No, 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 one time. I fired the triple rocket burst, the charged um gauss cannon, the double barrel, and then the rocket launcher again, and then it finally died. They are strong. (laughs) (laughs) They they are really strong. Right. Can I ask a quick question? Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm not sure if it was in the end credits of Doom 2016 or if it's in one of the ending trailers for Doom Eternal. Uh Uh-huh. Who is the absolute fucking madman demon that comes charging at the Doom Slayer while he has the, uh... Fuck, I think it's called the Crucible? That would be the Archvile. The Archvile. He just fucking throws his hands up in the air, sets them on fire, and just comes blitzing towards you. That's the Archvile. Yep. They're what does a he weapon do in, for they're a weapon living? in Doom 2. Um they no, sorry, they're an enemy in Doom 2. What they do is uh they can set you on fire at a distance and by line of sight, and they can also resurrect yes. dead enemies that you've killed. And they're fucking fast and they have high health, so mm-hmm. Oh. I'm thinking they're going to be mini bosses in the game. That's my guess. Right, well hopefully they have more than fucking three of them this time around. Three? Um they have- Three bosses in doing Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they're going yeah, yeah. for more bosses in this game. Anyway, <laughs> accurate, uh, so, accurate. Uh, let's see. Um, another weapon. Uh, I think the most useful attachment, other than the Gauss Cannon, uh, Siege Mode, is the Underbarrel Grenade Launcher. Good dear lord, that All is right. the most, that is so useful against imps and soldiers. Especially with the Cluster Grenade upgrade, it just allows you to pump out more damage. Alright, I'm tired. I'm gonna head to bed. All right, plus you Good night. That's fine. I'm sorry Good if night, I kept you too long. Nah, Gosh, don't worry it, about dude. it. I stayed in my own will. Mm-hmm. Have a good night, yeah. guys. Good talking to you, Shwina. You too, man. Thanks for staying so long. Thanks. Sleep is for the weak. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, what do you think? of? Did you use the grenade launcher at all, Shwina? Uh, I don't think i did actually this was this for the Sh- the combat this? shotgun the, the default one the oh. first one you get that's the one that's the uh the sticky one i think it is yeah that was my religious one i used that for uh-huh yeah i used I that one so much three round burst one Man, but i used it that, over that, the first shot. that shit was a fucking lifesaver I just remember demons stood up in really high places laughing at me because I was using a shotgun and they couldn't get to me. And I was just like, thump. Yep. It's like, oh, you can't Whoop. get me, Doomslayer. Laughs in grenade. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what I noticed from Doom Eternal gameplay? You know how you have a grenade in Doom that you never use? Doom 2016. Mm-hmm. The shoulder, yeah. the grenade-mounted shoulder cannon is what replaces that grenade. It has even the same. It icon. does. Yes, it does. Yes. Well, I mean, yes, I actually use the grenade quite often in Doom 2016 myself. Yeah, same. Me, I forget. I can't, me, I forget it exists. I like to use it to like stun enemies, especially the I bigger just, ones. I I I got the rune. I, I gave you two uses. Yes, yes, I use that often as well. Mm-hmm. I. And every single time one of those shield motherfuckers popped up, I was just like, both grenades at once, fuck. But the fact that they regenerate (laughs) the grenades back also, I think, is really nice. The fact that you can regen them. 
I think that's a nice that they passively regenerate. I know it doesn't make any logical sense. I never like, found you know. it. I never used. I never seem to find it. Find use for the, the regular one. grenades oh, after I get like the siphon grenade and the hologram. Mhm. Mm well, I, I find to use the frag I quite often. That's just me. The only reason I throw out the frag is because I I press the wrong button for I'm switching over and then I click the you know use equipment button. That's too a great soon. comic, Shuilan. That is a great comic, Shuilan. Thank you. <laughs> I don't like being able to see Doom Guy's face. Hmm. I mean, yes, I guess. I, I, but, but then again, you've always seen his face in the previous Doom uh, game. I, I know, but I don't like the way it looks with this style of the helmet. Hmm. Like, I'd rather just have a visor Maybe. that you couldn't see through. Do you prefer the classic? Dome of 2016 death, where you can see the classic head. No, that's no. He's scared terrifying. by that. He's scared of that one. Maybe that's the <laughs> fucking scary, scary. <laughs> oh, um, one thing about the uh, oh, I forgot to mention about the assault rifle. I find the rocket pod is my favorite one of the attachments to use on that. I just like that it's. I like... never use that one. Hmm. The bottom is missiles. The bottomless missiles upgrade. Oh man, you can just pump yep. out damage. Oh, uh, getting haste and then pulling out the the assault rifle. It's literally just like a minigun of rockets. <laughs> That's what I it only looks ever like. used the uh, the uh, the scope for that one because mm -hmm. of the, scope is also the very good too. Rounds. If you get the, oh, yeah, the they devastator call them uh, rounds. they call they them devastator the rounds, and it just like you can like it actually the sound effect actually changes when you get them, which I also like. it even makes it heavier. Yeah, yeah, it makes it heavier. Makes and like yeah, you can stun if you hit them in the head, you can stun lock them quite well. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, let's see if we talk about useless attachments, Are you maybe. Useless I think the two that are useless so would be the burst for the shotgun and the zoom in for the Gauss cannon because their alternatives are objectively better. Yeah, I like... still don't. And the the rotation thing on the chain gun. The well, I mean, if you don't get the mastery for the turret, that can be useful. But I mean, mm, people that... often like to use the turret more, so it seems. Mm. From what I understand, uh, the thing is, uh, the when you before you get the mastery that prevents it from having like the unlimited cooling, the thing with the turret it can overheat quite quickly and it can also blow through your ammo really fast. So if you can like you can manage your uh, your ammo for the chain gun and you can also like not have to worry about it overheating either when you have that attachment on. So if you want to manage your ammo better, I guess you could use that. I don't know. I'd have to talk to someone who actually likes using it, but I didn't use it that much. Mm. Have you guys seen the reel of uh, discarded animations, uh, the discarded weapon mods? No, I, I haven't. Not, no. no. Are there some? Mo half? Yes, uh, on the Noclip documentary. Have you seen it? Mm -mm. No, I haven't. Huh, I it's a three-part YouTube where I, That's where I got 70% of my information from. It's a three-part YouTube documentary made by Noclip. Where they interview yeah, the developers, the the directors. I the... Oh, I need to watch that because that's a. Uh, I'd like to see that. I'll link it to you if you want. Yeah, definitely do that. So there, are, there are half of the glory kills and weapon mods come from the cancelled Doom Four One Point Oh, which was the infamously called oh, yeah, Call of that. Doom. Call of Doom, so yeah, because it just looks so fucking stupid and generic. Yeah, going back to the weapon animations, one of the most overpowered weapon mods stayed in Doom 4 1.0, which was called the Barrage, which was 18 rockets fired in automatic succession for the rock. Holy shit. That seems like it could rockets. be a bit overpowered. Yes, that's why they left it on the cutting room floor. Just thank God. But I mean, so like, I, I, I guess I can understand. They, I'm glad they kept the rocket pod for Doom eternal though that i saw in some of the gameplay it was still there so that's nice maybe they'll make changes to it to make it more viable like you wanted chui Lin. maybe maybe um let's see i also think that the burst is pretty meh like it doesn't really it's not it's just objectively inferior to the grenade launcher why would i use the burst when the grenade launcher is so much more beneficial yeah i don't yeah, even I remember the, the burst extending the, the burst range gives it, so it doesn't extend damage. the range it just does it just lets Stop. you put more damage in right what 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 
What did you say, Killian? I think the master, uh, the mastery of the burst shot for a shotgun. I think it uh, multiplies the damage with each shot connected. So it's oh. kind of like the cluster bomb. But if all the shot hits, it insta, it insta stuns them. It leaves them immediately. Even a man could was ready for a glory kill if you connect all oh, three shots. I have to try so that. It's like then. the cluster. Uh, yeah, I'll but try. But minus the AOE effect. Cool. Hmm. I might try that in my playthrough for Eternal. I'll, I'll link you the no clip documentary, by the way. Yeah, I want to watch that. That sounds interesting. Also, there are the outtakes of the no clip documentary, which are the hour long raw interviews with Martin Strata and Hugo Martin and the lead game designer. So, if you like long content, which I assume you do, there's also that. Mm hmm. It's only fucking six AM for me. Oh geez. Um okay, well we can uh we can end on the gun note. Uh we can just get through the gun stuff and then like we can finish here if you want. I think we've had a pretty very good conversation, Sri Lin, I'd say. Yeah, yeah, we have been going for about four hours now. Mm -hmm. Long man bad. Yeah, we have know. covered quite a lot of good stuff. Long man bad though. Yeah, yeah, indeed, definitely. Long man. Um let's see. Uh oh the Uh, the double barrel doesn't really have any attachments, so I won't talk about that one. But I do think the double barrel is fucking um, fucking awesome. I'd say. Yeah, it's, it's a, a really thing to use. Two, two times two the ammo times. for three times the damage. Simple, effective. Right. I I'm guessing that's how it is. Right. I think hmm. so. Yeah. That's what they. That's what it was in the old game. I think that's how it works in the new one. I also I like the fact so. that the mastery of it makes it so that you can use both barrels. So like you can control. Like, you can uh, fire one and the other individually. So that's nice. Have yeah. you guys seen Army of Darkness? Yes, no. I have seen Army of Darkness. Oh, God, the amount of times you know, he fires you know, a shotgun there's... despite it only having... <laughs> yeah, four <laughs> times. I used to think the mastery for the double barrel shotgun was a reference to that, but what then does it I say? noticed in the ammo. What is it called? Huh? The mastery, double trouble. Double trouble. Is that in Army of Darkness? No, no, no. I used to think it was an Army of Darkness reference until I checked the ammo counter. and Because I used to think you could fire four shots. I mean, it consumed four shots from the ammo slot, but it consumes individual shots. So you have twice the ammo and you can shoot it twice. Not that mm -hmm. you can shoot it twice, twice, and it consumes four ammo. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I think more of an indirect thing. What do you think of the implementation of the, uh, the chainsaw? Do you think that's uh, decent? I think chainsaw was pretty cool. Like I love the uh, idea, but I love the idea behind it. Just like the fact that it's it's it's, it's such I a simple feel... thing, but it's so like it fits. Like literally, it just gives you a surplus of ammo, and it uses fuel. That's it. The thing and I like cool the, the the chainsaw it's not approved by the game was not only did it act as a way to replenish ammunition in late game, it kind of acted as a get out of jail free card for dealing with one super powerful enemy. Yeah, like a baron. But that consumes like all six. Like a baron, six. a hell that consumes all six, you weren't in the mood to fuck with, you could just be like, right, no, I'm not dealing with this. Let's get rid of this big threat right now. Oh, one of the one of the one of the most brutal animations for the chainsaw. When you jump at a caco demon from the front, you will embed the chainsaw directly into its eye socket, and he will rev it several times, and it will scream in pain and then explode. <laughs> Ouch! That's like ow. That must be that must be digging directly into its brain cavity. Ouch! <laughs> Honestly, if it has a brain, I'm quite surprised it didn't just die immediately. Yep. And then there's the um the one for the. Uh, what's the one? Well, there's a lot of them for the imps and the possessed soldiers. I think uh, the one for the, uh, what is it? The the mancubus one is also pretty. You just dig it right into his guts, and you just like just rip all. You just cut into him, and all his intestines just spill out. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, hmm. can you think of any Aleph that are like really brutal? The chainsaw. I mean, all of them are, but like some are like more than others, I guess. I can't remember who, which one it is specifically, but I know there's one that you cut his legs off and then saw the top of his oh, head Oh, that's off. the Baron. You cut off yeah, his left leg, and then you just saw the upper part of his jaw off, separating him from the lower half of the yeah, head. Yeah, that was it. Oh, like, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's, part of the, that's a really good one. Oh, I also love an uh, animation on the Baron of Hell where, like, you rip off one of his horns and you just stick it back into his head. <laughs> oh, yeah. Same with the mm. pinky. You rip off one of his teeth and just stick it in his eye. 
Or slash his throat. Or slash his throat. Or you rip off his tail and bash yeah, his head in with it. His throat. Just smack that motherfucker upside the skull. Mm -hmm. I think they added a variation of that in Doom Eternal. But they did? another demon, I can't. Yeah, that you uh, retract its horn and you stab it with. I think it's the yeah the spider, the spider, the spider demon. mastermind. Yeah, you can do the same thing with the spider, not the spider man, just the Arach the arachnotrons. You can rip off one of its teeth or the one of its claws yeah, you rip and stick off it one into of its the legs and stab it with. Yep, that's <laughs> right. And it just goes like <laughs> and then explodes. Yep. <laughs> I like. I wonder. Explosive. I wonder how they'll handle the spider masterminds, the the, the arachnotrons, because they're pretty big, uh, and they can crawl onto walls and ceilings. So I'm wondering how that's gonna work. Hmm. Okay. Um. Let's see what else. I feel like though, uh, Shuilan, the BFG is your get out of jail free card. If I'm being honest. It would be if I ever fucking used it. It's viable against the bosses though. <laughs> it actually stuns them. Uh, no other weapon can. Yeah, you need to there was something else the that, that it does with the bosses, but I can't specifically remember. Does it burn? Does it burn them? Mm. Yeah, I remember. I might be remembering this completely wrong, but I remember hitting one of them with the BFG and then some kind of continuous damage hurting them. Oh, yes. Uh, I think. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's just one solid chunk of their health goes away, but they do get stunned. Right. Yeah, yeah, I might, I might just be pulling that out of my ass. The essence of the BFG, the BFG is a ball of argent energy that causes arc waves that transfer to demons and that electrocutes them until their internal organs burst and that Explode. is all gas pressure thing explodes them, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it fires like a miniature sun, basically. Explode. Yeah. Yikes. Miniature sun that electrocutes you. Mm-hmm. There's um oh there's one thing kind of funny with the uh, starter pistol right, it has unlimited ammo so you're thinking oh it have fires like an it's an energy weapon but no it fires it actually has bullet casings, which is very strange. Indeed. Like if it has unlimited ammo, Probably. why why would you give it bullet casings? That it's gonna run out. And That's a bit strange. That. There's a criticism. See guys, I'm not 100 percent biased. Uh, I criticize okay. the game. Worst game. Uh, uh, worst game ever. Yeah. Zero the, out of yeah. ten. Destroy. Destroy. And the model, on the weapon model of the pistol, there is written in Japanese uh, energy pistol. I think it's EPG. And mm -hmm. on the multiplayer version pistol, it's a different one. It's called the Mark V pistol. It's written in Japanese as well. Big fucking pistol. <laughs> It actually says LFG on the pistol as well. All right, boys, I think we're going to need to start wrapping this up before I fucking pass out. All right. Well, um, I think we'll yeah. end it on the gun uh, discussion here, but Shwilan, I do appreciate you coming on. It was good to Thanks have this discussion. Thanks for having me, man. And, uh, you know, I, I think we Did had a good know? discussion. I think we found common ground, and I totally understand your criticisms. I completely get it. The ones of them that weren't just utterly I'm shit. I'm sorry if I was, like... I'm sorry if uh, I was... Um, you know, d destroying your your position with those pictures. Don't worry about it, man. They they deserve to be broken down. Like I like the I love the way that you posted that gif when I posted the ceiling that bleeds. Yeah, yeah, they, they were shit. <laughs> the gif was on point. I loved it. Oh yep. boy, but yeah, they, it was a terrible video. Absolutely atrocious. Never should have made it. And I'm probably gonna go and stick Doom 2016 on download and go play through it again now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna actually probably live stream the entire game right like the the, the day that the uh, eternal comes out is actually my birthday which is like a sign from God probably so yeah. um, <laughs> so basically the day before I'm gonna just stream the entire game from end to end in one big um, in one big uh, long live stream I hope I can Jeez. do it in the whole eight hours I probably can right. hopefully yeah. if you, like a and, week, uh, yeah. once, like I mean I've played it so many times once. I basically know everything so yeah I'm going to do yeah. that, and then I'm going to immediately after I end the game, I'm going to be ripe and ready to play through Doom Eternal, so that's going to be fun. Uh, one Believe thing, me. have you seen Robocop? Robocop? No. Sure. Yeah, the original one. Robocop. Okay, the original one. Okay, okay. I have not seen Robocop, no. I have seen the remake. Oh, Don't watch oh. it. Uh, I've seen it. I saw it first, actually. Uh, well, a huge inspiration for Doom Guy's attitude in Doom Eternal has been Robocop. It was kind of hinted at the no clip uh, interview that I just linked you to. You can watch it, it's on the yeah, ends. Sure. But when you're playing Doom Eternal, make sure you watch Robocop first because even on the footage that has already been released, 
you can see a lot of references to RoboCop already. Hmm. Just make sure to watch RoboCop before I, I'll going into sure. Doom Eternal. I'll watch it. I, I'll add it to my list because I have a long list of backlog movies. I still haven't seen fucking Children of Banner Kingdom of Heaven, which everybody tells me I should watch. <laughs> anyway, um, yep, that should wrap about it. Everybody say bye. Bye, live stream. Bye, guys. Go listen to Dusk. Bye. Yeah, everybody, everybody, apparently Dusk is pretty good. Go play that. Bye. Play more Doom. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>